like it's almost time to be moving on. No, Pappy, don't leave me, Pappy. Yes, I'm on my way to that big cotton field in the sky. You can't leave me, Pappy. I'm too dumb to make it with. I can't. I'm just a dumb old slave. I don't know. Oh, yes, sir. You was ain't no slave, boy. No. We was runaways. I run away from that plantation 123 years ago. Yes. And I done raised three generations of children here in this cave. Now you got to go. You the last of the ten bucks. I can't make it up there, Pappy. You got to. I can't. You got to. I can't. I put my foot in your ass. Okay, I try. Right, now you got to head up north. Yes, sir. And find the Underground Railroad. Yes, sir. You got to find Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman. Look like Cecily Tyson. <laughs> I thought that was Jane Pittman. No, that's just the role. I want you to do one other thing for me, boy. What is it, baby? What, baby? Take care of my good jacket. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, uh. Baby! Baby! It looks like I'm on my own now. I got to find my freedom. And get out of here before this body starts stinking. <laughs> you heading north? Uh, nah, man. I believe this is southeast. Well, how far behind you is, Dave? Who? The dogs. I don't hear the dogs. Man, what dogs, man? Is there something I can help you with? Because I'm on my way home, and man, I am whipped. Oh, Lord, how many lashes they give you? Uh, nah, man, I mean, I'm beat. Well, at least you still got your foot. Man, look, what is it that you want, man? I don't have any time for this. You must be one of them house niggas. Look, I'm just looking for my freedom. Freedom? Yes, sir. Well, where the hell you been in the cave? Yes, sir, right back yonder. Oh, man, look, you must be from the South, man. Brothers up here don't act like that. No. Excuse me. Well, move it. You're blocking the way. I'm oh, sorry, sir. We just mosey out your way. <laughs> man, what the hell is the matter with you? I'm trying to jog, and you're blocking my way. Yeah, well, next time, you know, run around, jackass. What? <laughs> you crazy, man. Don't be talking to a white man like that. You know, they want to be right even when they wrong. Be a sorry, sir. Be a sorry, sir. Well, I'll accept yours. Thank you. But I don't like your friend's attitude. What you talking about? Didn't your pappy teach you nothing about survival? You don't talk to the white man like that. Them people want to be right even when they wrong. <laughs> you see what you did? You don't put the dogs on us. It's 1991. <laughs> What did you say? I said, stop eyeballing that white woman. Put your fancy clothes on. Man, you can have that if you so desire, brother. And this is 1991, man. All that handkerchief head stuff don't play up here. And this is America. We are free. We can do what we want. There he is, officer. That's the one. We even brought the slave catchers on us. Well, feet don't fail me now. Man, be cool. Be cool, man. We haven't done anything wrong. Officer, I'm glad you're here, see, because... All right, face down on the ground and put your yes, hands sir. behind yes, your back. Hey, yes, now, wait a minute, wait I a minute. Said, get down on your knees and get your hands behind your back. I is down, sir. If I go any further, I'll be in China. You have, <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Man, this is outrageous. We ain't mean no harm, Mrs. Slave Master, sir. You better shut up. Yes, sir. That's free? Yeah, keep moving. Wait a minute, man. I think he's in the singing group or something, man. Yes, sir. I keep moving. That's a good idea. Freedom don't seem to last too long around here. <laughs> Rest in, peace, of all, Coolio. Rest, rest in peace, peace Coolio. Rest in peace, Coolio. Yeah, rest in peace, Coolio. Second of all, welcome back, everybody. 3BG, we're talking about white people saving kids. Oh, 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 sir, sir, sir. First of all, happy, happy June, 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 motherfuckers. No, that- yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you're Chris, listening you to the- not allow- I'm sorry, dude. Chris, you would not allow me that pregnant pause. I was that's what I was going for. Was going you were, for hey, you gotta get straight to it. Happy June team, motherfucker. No, 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 no. You don't get into it. You <laughs> we stop rushing this nigga. Seriously, the key yes. word. Yes. A white yes. woman saving urban youths. 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 Youths in a high school. Pregnant pause. 
Happy Juneteenth. Gotta say, Lift you gotta say, you like say, sing till earth in heaven ring. Sing the third verse. Yeah, I know like 1% of you know the second verse, so sing the third verse. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Um, so yeah, the, the movie, the movie. Yeah, black one to sing it. So um, Dangerous Minds is the movie. And um, yes. even as a kid, this came out in 95, so I'm about 11 mm-hmm. years old. Um, even I knew there was something off about this film because you, you hit, once I got around that age, there were certain things in movies I picked up on that was tropes. I think we talked about a little bit with the principal with Jim Belushi. That's one aspect of a white savior type film, right? This movie just said, very hey. white savior in that one. Yes. This movie said, hey, Sydney Portier to serve with love. I hold my beer. I got you. They literally did the most hokiest to serve with love movie ever. And it's, it's, it checks all the boxes of white ally movies, as he pointed out, so hard. It goes hard in the paint on white ally shit. I, uh, hmm. I, I don't know if I could put the sub, you know, the principal in that same category as the white savior movie because. Kind of so it is. No more. I know why you're going to say it. I know my why man, you're going to say it. See, first of all, my man was damn near a one man army <clears throat> Take it out a gang. A gang of Jerry Curls. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Her, a gang and Michael Wright. Get it right. All right. <laughs> no, my, Michael no, Wright. A mob of activators. A mob <laughs> of activators. <laughs> a cackle of activators. A murder of a murder of coons, if you will. <laughs> murder of activators. That's what that is. Yo, yo. A first of all, a cavalcade of ultra perm. Okay. And a uh, special guest appearance by uh, Lucy Gossip Jr. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, the grease slick in that movie, nigga. <laughs> Lucy Gossip Jr. had for the amount of rat holes in that damn school. My man was able to hide. He was able to go through one secret passageway into another. No, this is, these aren't the same movies. I'm sorry. These aren't the same movies because Lucy Gossip Jr. murdered a nigga. Yeah, he did. <laughs> first off, first off. That kid, that kid wasn't going to college anyway, B. So, what, what, what was lost in that? Second of all, hold on. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, no, 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 Chris. Second of all, you actually saw people get murdered in the principal. Okay? Hey, my man got fucking he third floor off, and he's just twitching like. Eh, I know. Eh, I'm, that's eh. that's the difference. No, that's that's my point. That's the difference between the principal Granted. and dangerous minds. Granted. We actually saw shit go down in the principal. Granted, granted. Yeah, no. my man got my man got there was by a motorcycle people. in the climax. There was rape. There was a motorcycle. There was. The there was climax. rape. There was rape. We saw the rape. It didn't yes, scare rape. That shit. Yes, it was. Um, See, it was. Rape, no, no, she almost did. Ray John Chong almost got. Almost got. She almost got. Remember, she almost. Did. almost she did. Well, and remember, did, did, did. and remember, on, on, we on. got to see no errors. And Chris, and remember, we got to see Prince. Just be a little bit tough to the Latino kids, and they fixed his demolished bike in one night. Did they what get are we paid? getting? Da- no, oh. no, no, no. What are we getting dangerous? Minds? We don't have educators no. like that. No, no, no. <laughs> D, D. What are we getting? What's the we don't have for? educators D. like that, Eric. I'm so D. sorry. We D. Need D. To- no, D. What do we get as a trade-off in Dangerous Minds? <sighs> one Mexican, one, if you will, decides, hey. Uno, as they say. Hey, ASA, I'm going to do this poetry, eh? And I get to go to dinner with Elvira. So I didn't think about that, man. I'm sorry. Um, um, I, I'm, well, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? You know what? No, you know what? I hate, I hate to be that guy. You're very welcome. I, I hate to be that guy, but um, Emilio, um, so a crackhead was trying to kill you. You do realize you can trick a crackhead, right? No, no, no. Random crackhead because sir, random right crackhead. Now, like I'm not saying, I'm not saying crackheads are stupid or anything, but crackheads are stupid. So hey, random no, crackhead no, just kills you. No, no, no. That... Hey, 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 CJ. Look, look, hey, hold on. Don't underestimate the. Don't under, don't do not underestimate the power of a crackhead with a plan. See? Yes. 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 Uh, Emilio, Migo, 
Come here, man. I got a question, bro. What what did y'all start? To, how did this how did this start? Please. No, 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 no. Stop. Essay. We're not doing that, bro. Please listen to me. How did you start in this argument with a crackhead? Is the crackhead your uncle, bro? No, nigga, you can tell me, man. Everybody got this shit in their family, dog. Who how no, no, because no, the reason why I asked this dude is nobody just Get into a fight with a crackhead, and then you take the threat of the crackhead seriously. Actually, no, no. See, what happened? So, see, that's we're joking again. about this. I, okay. I say again. I say again. Please, to remove. No, but the thing is this. I forgot. Please, please. Here's the thing. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? 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 I said it's a random crackhead. What it is is it's a crackhead that came out of prison and had delusions of grandeur that his girl was going to wait for his fucking crackhead ass outside of jail, which was never going to fucking happen. All right, so, all right, look, look, look. so we got a delusion of grand door crackhead here, which is probably look, way more dangerous I know than a random crackhead. So. Going into, look, look, Chris, I know it was the 80s going to the 90s. Hey, yo, Holmes, why you fucking with a girl who used to fuck a crackhead, nigga? You know that's Man. just bad. That sounds like there's going to be an issue. I mean, of, look, of but some but sort. But 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 you the see future. the girl. You see the girl. You see the girl. Eh, she cute. I get it. She's 1995 cute, but whatever. I mean, she is. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying she's cute, so you get it. Yeah. I get it. I'm not saying it's worth getting killed she's over. Spanish. Cause... She's Spanish. She has a personality. <laughs> you could do something with your life, Emilio. You know, that's shit. Um. <laughs> Let's be real. It was all, let's be real. It was also partially her fault for running to the teacher in the first place. You to a white teacher. You know we go to Courtney Vance. Who, by the way, Courtney Vance. He's a dick. It's always principal, but I get it. I get it. No, no, first off, first off, Eric, Chris, you have he's to what understand. Ha- no, he's what happens if Ernie Hudson just chose not to do anything in the movie. <laughs> it's like, I don't do drugs. I just want to go home to my wife who is berating me every night. <laughs> I'm tired of you know, Ares, He's you know, Ares, I don't often tell you this, man, but it's always funny when Courtney B. Ba- Courtney B. Vance, who is constantly NBA 2K rated at 87, constantly every seven every year, it's amazing to see him always dumb himself down to an 80. Isn't it always funny that he has Bruh, to do that? that is, you know what? You know what? I see, you know is what? always like the best. Guys, dude guys, guys, the guys, guys. And they give him no lines. I always I see this. Bro. You, know what, you know what's funny? I see this look and I'm like, oh, I see why Angela got with him. I see it. I understand. Now, Angela, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a shape up and it is 1993. DD. It's not you that. Look, your, look, 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 Eric, Eric, you can take your chances out there in these streets. <laughs> look at no, Get one of these 28 D, years old D, that D, never D, saw D, a pair of clippers in their life. D, D, it's the beard for me because my dad had the same exact type of fucking beard at one point. Man, he got that Johnny. He got that Johnny. Right, it's Mathis, fully formed beard. It's James not even like Mathis. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be there, Joe. Man, look, man. Man. I'm be girls. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Hey girls, well, can actually connect it too. Hey girls, uh, you know that's when the chin kind of rubs the bottom part like. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, that's why I keep Happy the goatee. Happy That's why I keep the goatee. Um. Anyways. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. Ladies, get you a man that's like Courtney B. Vance in Dangerous Minds, who has a very subtle way of telling you fuck off, white woman. <laughs> Check it out, white lady. Can Stick to your... the curriculum. Please. I do, I do have one question. How exactly did you get this job? I mean, did you just say yes when you walked in the door? Because that's what it sounds like. You had an opportunity because you are a white lady. You are a white lady or Caucasian. Is that better for you? <laughs> there is something scary about how his character never raises an octave on his voice, even when oh, she's freaking out. Man, look. Man, she oh. ran into that office yelling at him. He was like, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you use your indoor <laughs> voice. I would need you to use your indoor voice. Uh, D, hey, 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 he hey, set the tone. Hey, 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 he set the tone. 
D. You ain't D. in Baltimore right now, bitch. Wait, wait, I'm D. Gonna need stop. You to bite down. Stop, stop, stop. stop. I, I, I need to, I need to point out the picture here. D. This is a missed opportunity because real talk, <laughs> you should have put it on her as well. Who? Oh, the, the oh, the lady, the secretary lady next to yes, her. Really you really should have put did. one on her I too. Because no, no, because here's the thing, guys. <laughs> Courtney B. Vance, principal, he sets the tone for Michelle Pfeiffer's character with, uh, "You're supposed to knock before you come in." I'm like, oh, he he really is like, yo, fuck you, white lady, off tip. I love the energy. I love the energy. Can I say? Can I say for the record? At the very beginning of the movie, That's a nigga that like, hit, the last like at the very beginning of the movie, when he hits her with "you knock" before entering a like entering the uh, the office, right? In my mind, I said, "Hmm, put a pin in that. We're gonna circle back to that sometime." <laughs> <in> this movie <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a thing. And now you're probably saying to yourself, "Why is it gonna be a thing?" White women don't listen. Foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, I mean, look, white look, women look. don't listen to shit. I just, I just, you yeah, stay there, and Brockovich. <laughs> we're gonna be all over the place. All I'm gonna say is like this. I felt bad for how he handled the whole shit with Emilio because I get it from that's not my business and it's outside of school. I totally understand that, right? I, I, I get I get that, right? But I also kind of sort of get, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer's character, Luann, who she's like, she wants to protect the kids because that she more or less kind of built up that trust with those kids. So you you kind of get her angle with it. But I'm like, well, Courtney, it's like, look, he came into school with a gun. We don't allow that shit. He got to get the fuck up out uh, of No, 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 stop. Mm, pump your brakes, CJ. Motherfucker didn't even know he had a gun. The nigga walked it. through the no, he walked through the door, didn't knock. That's what I said. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I that. love that. She's like, wait, <laughs> he didn't knock. I sent him away. Again, did you notice the calm, cool, collectedness of Courtney Vance? Just I sent did him not away. Knock. I simply he did not knock. Therefore, I sent him away. That you is, know what that, that told is. me? You know what that told me? He was like. Do you think this was the first time he just ran in my office? <laughs> I told that 24-year-old looking motherfucker, you knock before you run up in my door. All right? I know I'm five foot seven. I will fuck that nigga up. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the principal Courtney B. Life. Vance, though. Look, Courtney B. Vance ain't a fighter, but he looked like he got like a jab that's like, yo. Meanwhile, it's the jab to the throat. That's oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Bam. Um, nah, like meanwhile, his, like his cousin that went to jail told him that shit when he was like 15. Oh, oh it's like, like <laughs> no, it's, it's similar to like, remember when Denzel throat punched old boy and he got game and shit when he was rolling up on him? That shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you breathing now? You good, son? Get the hell out of here. Like, yo, yo, but here's the thing principal in real life watching dangerous lines. You know, he's sitting there like, I, I I did not do that. They really put this in the movie? I didn't do that. Uh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you. Anyway. Because this is based, folks. This I is based know, on a true story. I didn't know until I hit high school and I saw this movie a third time that somebody was like, oh, this is based on a true story. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So, so which is the reason out. why, which is, which is the main reason why, going right back to my point again, why I said this movie separates itself from the other, you know, fish out of water, high school, white teacher, white principal or whatever in an urban but, setting but, movies. It separates but, itself. But check this out. This does go into the same line of thinking. See, like most good things in this country, one of the brown people come up with it first. See, uh-huh. and, um, your boy, see, like, yes, the principal was the first of these movies like that. But what you found out was that they were real life principals that had to deal with bullshit like this. Uh-huh. That's why when Lean On Me came out, Stand and Deliver came out, which were also based on real life stories. Uh-huh. It was good, it was great. There is something though that is so sad about all these movies, all of them marry each other the only difference between the principal and the substitute they had fun they said 
let's punch the kids. <laughs> That's the difference. Let's introduce and, drug and, dealing into the mix. Let's and, do that. And, and it's like this. Can you imagine Freedom okay, Riders? Because they're drug dealers, so we can actually strike them. You know what I mean? Can you imagine <laughs> Freedom Riders? You want to get to the end? Wait, the murder's not off the table? Okay. <laughs> Could you the imagine? next karate kid fucking kicking the shit out of drugs. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine the third act of Freedom Riders? Uh, uh fucking uh, 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 my girl Hillary Swank finally snaps and like, all right, kids, I'm about to show you how to do it. She rips off her thing, her titties bounce a little bit. Come on, she look good. Anyway, did she fight the niggas? <laughs> Find out one of the judges is a drug dealer, and it's like, where the fuck did this oh come from? Oh my god, this third act that pumped it up. Yo, even one of our favorite low key movies, uh, uh, fuck it, uh, 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 um, banana way, banana, oh, yeah, 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 kind of mirrored this shit. And then they said, nah, man, let, let's let it, let's let me a fight. With a gang, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you though. I, I would say out of all of them, because, Hollywood, because, Hollywood, because his, even I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chris, but even though that Hollywood did pick people, real life people, Freedom Riders, Stand and Deliver, Lean on Me, the, these are real life people, and yet every executive was like, make that shit like, make that shit like the principal. <laughs> well, my thing was this: like, I feel Stand and Deliver because. Line. Finding out that all that shit and lean on me was 99% bullshit, that hurt my soul. I was like, Yo, what? Joe Carter didn't have a girl he did that to. Yeah, he did threaten the kid to jump. Oh, uh, <laughs> he locked so the school the up. He did lock the school up. Yeah, he said, I'm crazy. Call me Batman. Yeah, but it was like him and the bat was overblown. And the thing Standard is- to deliver, I heard there was like, Okay, okay, so first off, let us talk about the real life. Like, oh shit, this is deep. <laughs> what the stand deliver was one of those stories, like, yeah, there's like let's separate fact from fiction. But so, like yeah. it's like, but you at least felt like stand and deliver a good chunk of that stuff did happen. And, and it see, was that's the same thing with lean on me. It was a story nope. that we you could believe in. But you the thing is, but I think with stand, but, but I think even with stand and deliver, knowing that at least stand and deliver, it at least wasn't like a huge deviation. Oh yeah, like, it wasn't. It wasn't like a huge deviation. It's just that Hollywood fell on the tropes. Let's make sure the drug dealers there. Let's make awesome, sure there's awesome. drug dealers there. Let's make sure that 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 there's a parent. It's like I don't like you. You know what I mean? Also, awesome, awesome on top of that, with stand and deliver, I like how some of the white folks that was real life discriminated against them hispanics try to act like the movie made us to be the villains uh you discriminated against hispanics what the fuck you think they were going to do gloss over it like bro no and that's what made that's what made lean on me kind of gross where you saw that one of the people that was a really again now yes there were parents that were kind of against joe carter but but homegirl of carmen san diego who was really against joe carter they was like that never happened to mr carter Mm-hmm. See, it was more of a board of an education thing. I don't know why they framed a black woman to be the the, the spearhead to take down the black man thing. You know, and I, I don't, you know, guys, don't look too deep on it. Juneteenth, okay? Don't look also, too deep. Also, Hollywood's yeah. nice. Hollywood's also, nice. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of Hollywood, uh, permeating during the uh, press rollout and the rollout of this movie. Coolio's Gangsta Paradise was just in your face 24 7, 360 fucking five. I didn't hate the song, like, but holy wanna know, crap. Like, wanna know, I'm wanna so know sorry, many, White like, Do you want to know I'm how so many sorry. times that this song appeared in this movie? Oh, Once. a lot. No, Once. four or five times, right? Actually, it was more. It was, it was more. Oh, dude. you mean all the way? I'm coming all the not, way through the. I'm yeah, not the little. Throughout this movie. Throughout this not, movie, how many comes, times did you get? How many times do you hear Gangsta's Paradise? Okay, let's not count. All right, Chris, drop the uh, drop the opening credits and drop that fake halfway. Did, 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 it counts. Did, it didn't it float into a different beat. That don't it count, It went man. straight into a different beat. That don't it, don't matter. it still counts. No, it you still heard, count. Listen, I heard no, that no. damn, I heard that R&B song play like six times more than Coolio. Either way. That uh, permeated they it, all the rollout. They played it. Hold on. They played it when we went to the twins' house, and then they played it one more time. So we played it four times. I got four. I got yeah. four. Either yeah. which way, this song permeates throughout the marketing rollout for this movie oh and everything. And it's probably one of Coolio's like top songs of all time. No, it is his top. It song. is his top song of all time. That 
probably probably made him pretty much. This be is able number to one on for years. Ooh, I got a question. What would be number two? One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. That one. Hit him high. Ah, uh, hit him high, Ooh. hit him high, hit him high. But that's collabo with it, other people, that's though. That's a collabo. That don't mm-hmm. count. Collabo. That's that collabo. Count. That's why I said the yeah. other one. It one, wouldn't be Fantastic two, Voyage. It's fantastic it actually Fantastic Voyage. Voyage. It's it fantastic is Fantastic Voyage. Voyage. It would be yeah. Fantastic Voyage. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's funny, though. Coolio. Followed by the uh, Keenan and Kel theme. Um. <laughs> yes, I count that. Here's the funny thing about I will say this. Coolio, <laughs> yes. Coolio yeah. got <laughs> rocketed that. into superstardom. <laughs> And yeah, was not something the... at the Gangsters Paradise. Hey, Weird Al fucking shot that shit through the fucking atmosphere with the fucking no, It's too. so weird though. It's like it made him a superstar, and it's like Coolio made no songs after that. He sat on it. I can put. He didn't need to. He didn't need to. I guarantee you, the masters and all that stuff that he probably held on to that shit. Oh, he probably kicked. I know. I know for a fact that I did. Now, here's a funny thing. I will say this because I hated the whole surreal life shit and all the rest of that. I did hate it how he went the reality TV way. But come on, nigga need the money. So you know, I understand that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? I, mean the, I, I think. I think that's probably why the Dangerous Mind soundtrack went like three times platinum because it did fucking the Gangsters Paradise. Even though there I were mean, other songs on there. Other songs on that joint. But remember again, me and Eris talked about this. This was still during the time where you can put out a soundtrack and people will run out and actually try to get it. So it did yeah. look out by having this. Monica's um, first big hit is on this joint too. One of them days. And there's sure. another song on. There's another song on there. I think it's either Naughty by Nature or it's like Onyx or somebody like that. It was like a group. But they was on. Oh no, Robin Forte. Robin Forte. Yeah, Robin Forte is on this joke. Yeah. And you know what? This is all respect to Robin Forte. Back when that meant something. Um, <laughs> I know that's wrong. Podcast on. Rapper I Forte. know that's wrong. Like Woo. I said, I love Robin Forte. He is a big part of the Bay Area when it comes to the motherfucking culture. I just this be being an East Coast hater. I right? I'm sorry on that one. <laughs> I had to make the joke. Too, anyway. too short was better. Um. <laughs> oh yes, sir. Sir, just too short. Too short should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How oh, the yeah. fuck is he not? <laughs> too short should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you, Rod. Too short Thank should be Rod. in the Rock and Roll Hall Thanks, of Fame. Rod. Happy Juneteenth, sir. Happy Juneteenth. Now, 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 Rod. Now make it. Make me a promise. Go outside and tell other black people that they're free. Now, <laughs> if someone comes back with you for some whole tap shit, that's on you to combat, brother. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so, but um, but, but so, so 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 the whole thing is this: uh, Luann and Luann is a former marine. Was yeah, marine? Yeah, marine. Yes, former marine. marine. Former you know, marine. Kind of vague on her service, but you know what? Good. <laughs> former marine who is uh, just divorced, recently divorced from her husband, and uh, she's getting back into teaching. And she was close to getting her teaching degree. And then, you know, she started working for her husband's company and they got divorced. And now she's getting back into teaching. And as these movies are, she gets hit with a teaching gig in the roughest school in yeah. L.A. The, the I teachers think. gave up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah L.A. The, the, the teachers gave up. They ran the last teacher. She had us. Yeah. So. Like, I always is. laugh at they ran the teacher out. See, Joe Carter was at Joe Carter had to deal with a whole a whole school. Uh, uh, Emilio Estevez had to teach, they had to reach these kids. These are the kids that everyone gave up on. This one is like these kids are from the hood. They all kind of special and not in special in a bad way, meaning that they. I don't know how bad are they. I think they just come from broken homes. And they, just they, 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 I don't we, know. We both grew up in PG County. We we've been in the hood. We've been to various schools. The that hood. Are, the hood. The hood. No, I mean we've been to various schools around the PG County area. Some hood. Looking at you, Central. Um, <laughs> in a lot of other schools and stuff. Those movies are full of shit on how some of these schools are. At least to me, I you know maybe like, maybe I'm. Here's, here's the thing. When you like to me. As a, all right, unfortunately, you know, I, I you know, I didn't want to say this on air, but I'm going to have to say it. Yeah, I was in what you call. I, I had to do remedial shit in middle school, and I did it for the first year in high school until they realized that, oh, he's just neurodivergent. Oh, and back when they didn't know oh, how to like nail down, they didn't know how to do this. Shit, so they throw him in a special ed. <laughs> 
That's what I'm saying. We don't have they, they they didn't know how to deal with that shit. And so, you know, I had to deal with some of those classes. And I had to deal with that, like I said, until the first after that, I didn't, you know, my last two years of high school was a breeze. But anyway, um, but that being said, I was in classes like that. Yeah, rowdy. Yeah, there are some t- there are some kids, there are some teachers that will get super kicked in the mouth. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that happens. But that being said, I can imagine from I I can imagine there is a collective a collective um n- uh, no knowledge of these kids where they get rowdy where they get very violent and they yeah sometimes yes they do get violent and all the rest of that yeah. but you got to realize you're watching a movie so all of it is going to be hyped up to one like of course somebody knows a drug dealer of course one of them is going to come from a broken home well all of them are going to come from a yeah, broken home all of them are broken home not a single Family whole it's like bro, like you know, and, that, you know, and now that I look at it, you know what 1990s fuck you because I always hated the fact that just because the kids listen to rap, they're dangerous. I've uh, always uh, hated that idea, yeah. That is one of the like, biggest and they still do that, you know, they still kind of do that passive aggressively, but they do that shit still. They still yeah, do. it's like oh, oh, so like so, but you can see you can see it like they go to like a Latino school and it's like, oh, and let me guess, one of them's gonna be, hey teacher, are you gonna teach me that white man's education? <laughs> That's what they all do. Is the kicker. Hold on, let me do the black version of that. Man, you better get that white shit out of my face, <sighs> man. Let me tell you something. We live in the system that is keeping the black man down. And your white education ain't gonna free me on none of that shit, teach. Yeah, that's right, nigga. So guess what? And they look, look, give me a slap. Guess what? That's how it's gonna be. Now you can kick rocks or let me go to sleep. Oh, there's always some shit like that. You know what I mean? Some some, white shit like that. Some some white guy who's watching the movie, like, they're attacking me, a white person. I'm like, oh my gosh. I would love, I would love for this. Like, this, these movies, not real talk, this movie in particular to me, and the reason why I picked it for Juneteenth, because it's perfect for the allies. This is a perfect ally movie to me. Here's the kicker, D. You know, Um, I mean, it's just the perfect one for them to make them say, I care about the youth too. But the, <laughs> the critics of this movie, I love that they were all on the same page of how problematic this fucking movie was. Now, this I look is at the in reviews, 1994. Nigga. This is 95, 94, 95, and they literally were like, yo, this movie is checking the boxes of problematic shit that we've seen before. Like, even right down to the white saviness. And, and this is a movie that made $180 million. But mainly because, like... <sighs> It could be because of Michelle Pfeiffer, obviously, and then the Coolio shit, and it just Michelle Pfeiffer, MTV role, generation. I, I was going to say that the rollout from MTV, Michelle Pfeiffer, um, and and real talk, danger, uh, uh, gangsters paradise is everywhere for real. I know to a lot of like if you are a Zoomer and you're white, your yes, your parents play that music a lot because that's what they heard a lot. Gosh. Gen X. Play that song like they lived it, bro. Like, like, Mom. dude, you're from you're from Ohio, you're from you're you, dude, you you're from Youngstown. Dude, Shut dude. up. I think there's another reason why I took a break from Gangsta's Paradise. I love my mom to death. She clearly is a hundred percent all in on gospel. The rare times that she listened to hip hop, she bought the Coolio tape, Gangsta's Paradise, and she loved it. And you know, the first couple of times, I right, cool, Gangsta's Paradise. Third time, fourth time, going on road trips. I, I hate this song. I, I hate this song. So. Shout out. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick, Ares, I'm going to get to you real quick. Shout out to you if you had a Christian parent that did that same thing with Crossroads. We're Bro! Crossroads, Gangsta's Paradise, the fucking Space Jam sound. Hey, yo, Dad. Yeah, yeah. You know, I believe I can fly. And if you look, I believe I can fly. And if you had a cool teacher, I could fly like an eagle by seal. Oh, I love that version of I can fly like an eagle. Yeah, that joke go. Seal kills that joke. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go This is the second time that Michelle Fiverr has been called white bread. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. I forgot. I think I, the movie's at the tip of my tongue, Eris. I forgot those. Scarface. Movies. Scarface, yes. By Hispanic, too. And I feel, and I feel. Yeah. <laughs> all, no, hold on. The first time, it was a Cuban. Cuban. Was a Cuban. Was sorry, a Cuban. sorry, sorry my a... two Cuban people that are listening to 3BG. We got the numbers. There's two wait, wait, Cuban wait, wait, people wait, on Cuban. Let me get it off. Let me get it off. The first time, it was a Cuban in Scarface. 
The second time, it was black people and the Hispanics in, sorry, the Mexicans, if you will, in Dangerous Minds. Coming together hey, yeah. to call the her a white Ryu, It was the Ryu, and thank you, the Ryu and Sagat. <laughs> Ryu and Cyclops, sir. Cyclops, Jesus. Niggas said Cyclops. <laughs> yo, but that be, like, but then, yo, yo, that also being but said. Earth that, 91, this would be Ryu and Cyclops, though. Uh-huh. 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 Yes, Shake hands. <laughs> there, there. I will. We will I agree. agree. Typhoon is actually amazing. <laughs> you don't have no shoes on. I don't have no shoes on either. Taco Tuesdays. Hey. Um. <laughs> hey, man. Sorry, but. Hey, 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 Eris. It's out, Ryu and Sagat that are friends instead of Ryu and Kid. Hey, Eris. Eris, check this out. Check this out. Hey, yo, dog. Sorry what I did to you, to you, bro. I'm sorry, man. Sorry you can't have no taco meat in the middle now. Yo, man, I'm sorry, man. man. <laughs> I don't, bitches might like it, though, man. You know what? I max myself, Girl, too. I don't know how... To, look, dog, I don't know how exactly it caught on fire either, meat. man. Bro, no scar. hamburger meat, dog. <laughs> no, scar across the hamburger meat. <laughs> it's a guy. Yeah, I ain't got over that. <laughs> can't even shave there anymore. That shit hurts. Man, man. <laughs> Nigga, you know, do you know my shit glows now whenever it sees you as soon as I use this bevel shaver just starts glowing so let me get Yes. So let me guess. Does that make you stronger? No, nigga. That means that is that is irritated, and I need to put more cream on the shit, man. That's what that means. You created a scar on my chest that is activated by my anxiety. Thank you, Ryu. It's a god after he gets this is deep t- trauma that you actually gave me. This friendship is helping me build through that. It's a god after he gets dragon punch. After I get dragon punch, my chest hurts. That's why I use icy hot. <laughs> Rub all over the chest. Brings a whole new meeting to I'm bleeding inside my chest. <laughs> oh, look. oh, I see. No, look, look. Imagine you see some guy like see some guy training like foo foo. Ah, and then you hear Shaq all of a sudden. I see that problem. Hit it with this icy hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear that's what made look. See, 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 yeah, we see, were see, see. Shaq, we hey, were waiting hey. for Shaq and Sagat to put out some advertisement. Yo, it goes over well in Thailand. I mean, hey, like hey, very hey, well. Hey, successful hey, hey. ad campaign. For Seth Chicago Green, deal. Seth Green. Hey, Seth Green, the Robot Chicken Crew. You're welcome. Pay us You're our money. Very welcome. <laughs> very welcome. I swear to God, if that's in a robot chicken sketch, I'm like, D, Eris, we're getting money. I'm getting money. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, money. My, I'm getting, money. I'm getting somebody cousin, and he ain't going to be Jewish the first time. The second one would definitely be Jewish, though. <laughs> Happy Jew team, guys. Who, who just happens to be Dave Saddlebaum. <laughs> speaking of which, hey, yo, speaking of which, Eris, I meant to tell you this. Um, I understand we said Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarface and all the rest of that good shit. Hey, yo, Emilio, you are Stephen Bowring the living hell out of Yo, <laughs> yo, this nigga every the bit twenty six. Spanish guy ever. <laughs> this nigga every bit twenty six. Young got kids. Way he thinking about. Way, he really thinking for- about taking it. Lyrics, he really thinking about taking that on uh, that doc that, that longshoreman job over there, man. That pay really well. That pay fifty thousand a year. He really Way thinking about doing that. Years. I'm quite, I'm quite bothered by the fact that that Emilio, this movie, he looks like half of the cast of every major drama on Telemundo. I hate the fact that this dude looks like at any time he's going to be in the background of a Madonna video with no shirt on. And sad he part is, for he probably sad already part. was. He probably here's, already was. And here's the sad part: um, he died, and um, what ended up happening was uh, I hate how you said that. I'm sorry. I hated. To, I had to break this out. You like? No, yeah, he died because here's the thing. I was looking him up because I was like wondering, like, how come he's not in any movies? Because you expect to see somebody like that. They pop up in I don't know Breaking Bad or some shit in a bit role or whatever and shit. But you, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, so it's like when I'm looking, I was like, he died, and then come to find out, he did a, his last movie. He did with Elizabeth Berkley, and she showed him like. You know the movie before he died, and he's like, "Oh my god, I'm really good in the movie." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, now what movie wow. was, like, was this? Like, when he Pac-Man. Was 
Tax man. He died in ninety eight. Wow. Man, that's sad, that's man. a very that's short sad. movie career, man. It's kind of crazy. Man, man, you know, yeah, it's just one of those people, man. Like I said, he was Stephen Bauer in the fuck out of this role, Bro, man. I, hey, Ooh. hey, look, there's a part of me that felt Stephen Bauer could have been up for this, and they were like, he is Stephen Bauer is not in high school age. Nah, we ever. don't need we don't need a positive Latino <laughs> role model in this movie. <laughs> we already got that in a gleam in the cube. We don't need that shit. Cause here. You know, because you know for a fact, because you know for a fact. Steve Bauer, if he was in this movie, he'd be the janitor. Hey, 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 you kids, stop it. I'm, Fucking stop it. I'm, 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 <laughs> Go to class. No, 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 no. You want to bring this into like full, like into full, um, full circle Scarface? Oh, the principal is oh, Sosa. Boy. Bro, if it was Sosa, I was looking at you, I was looking at you, Joe Ricketts, Mrs. Lorraine. Right. I was thinking about Johnson. <laughs> Miss Johnson. Type of a woman. <laughs> Bigger man. Um, <laughs> what? Nigga, what? He was, he was, he was, um, nah, nah, nah. But her, like, I will say this to credit to her though, as a teacher, because that's she's she did the thing that most teachers do, where they find something that grabs kids' attention in order to get them to really, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> besides that, obviously, I want to die. We want to die. No, 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 um, no, no. You know what she did? She looked at those kids, all of those kids who were born in the early 70s. You know what she looked at them? And you know what she said? I got to reach you. I got to know what's going to touch she had to read your a book. soul. Folks, no. Folks. She, she no. No. You know what she had these kids read? Bob fucking... Dylan. D, before that, though. Before that. Oh, that just rubs the pussy of black folk the right way, doesn't it? <laughs> but back, back up for a second. First day, hell. Her, her fat, her fat buddy, buddy next door is telling her to, to lay down, to low down, or what happened. So, what did she do? She goes home and she reads a, a book on how to reach the kids. And then she goes in the closet and was like, "This leather jacket, this will work." Puts on a leather jacket, puts on some jeans, boots, boom. No, I gotta act like I don't care because these kids put don't my, care. Put, put my feet up on the on the on the desk because I'm badass. And what does she? What does this white lady do? She teaches that her teaches them these martial kids arts. Teaches hip talk. It teaches martial kids arts. How to hip talk. Hip Cynthia talk Rothrock hip talk. over here. <laughs> she over here teaching these kids. Like, all right, you gotta pull your fist up and then you gotta throw them like that. Like, Damn, now, bitch. Now, 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 now you know what's funny. I agree with Courtney B. Vance as a principal. Uh, you're not supposed to be teaching kids martial arts. That's a lawsuit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, you know, you know, I gotta, you know, like and see, this is why I said this is the perfect um quote unquote because I hate saying woke in the in the in the sense of what white it's people woke. call it. Huh? <laughs> it's woke. Yeah, I hate calling it this, but this is what white people think it is. Like this, the reason why I always th this movie has a way of really invoking this idea of like, no, you got to find a, a conventional way. All you got to do is try, because people don't try with these people. All they do is like think about no, like this. Really does that? And she had the nerve to go full woke on them because all the kids they want to talk. Of course, we always come to this scene where the kids are either being bullied by a drug dealer outside the room, inside the room, whatever the adversary is, the kids mm -hmm. won't talk because the leader's not talking type of bullshit. The leader being Emilio and the other I guy. like the fact that she said that they did say like you have a choice. Yeah, we ain't got a choice. Yeah, you do. You have a choice. Like, like you ain't where are you from? You ain't gotta get on the bus like us. You ain't got a choice. Uh guess what? You do. You have a choice of getting on this bus or staying out on the street and doing drugs or getting out in the gang or doing I'm like really you know white lady. You know, you know what? You know what's fucked up? Really dude? white uh, lady. And Captain all of those brown kids didn't move when you said that. That, but, but here's the that thing: that is chaos. That's science fiction. I said you this. Know, no, but I said this. I said this when we were in a group chat. There's one point, even beyond her, uh, two of the kid, black kids in her class, they're raised by their grandmother, and their grandmother was on some. They need to be paying bills up in this house, not going to school. Yep. And I was like. Okay, I look. love that my girl showed up. She like, I know who you is. 
Now you telling these kids all this stuff about poetry and all that mess. They don't need to be doing that. They need to be paying bills around here. Why, Eric, Chris? Why? Why would we? Why? Now here's the thing. Do why? I? Well, I know some people in my family that's kind of like that old lady. And granted, even some I of my family, I was ratcheted up to a thousand, nigga. Because it's like, so you're kind of like Michelle Pfeiffer, where it's like, hey, you either pay bills or join the well, at least for black folks, it's join the army or you just go yeah. to fucking college. Um, it's join the army, it's join the army. Yeah, join which the army. you ain't which, developed a little jump shot, so it's the army. <laughs> which irks me because, like, I feel we kind of got away from the fact of trade schools. That's something that, at least to me. I had to ask somebody, I'm like, are schools pushing for trade schools? And I asked somebody that I'm friends with, he's a teacher, and I'm like, are schools pushing trade schools, or is it just college or bust? Like, what's no, happening no, here? No. Um, as a kid that came from a vocational school, and my son is going to go to the same damn school, uh, yeah, they still put, push it. You have, this, I'm saying this from a, from a parent's standpoint. Yeah. Um, if you are interested in that, and you do want your kid to have set up a trade so mm -hmm. they can go in to have a career later on in life, they don't yeah. have to go to college or whatever like that, yeah. do invest in it. I'm doing that with my kids. So do invest in that shit, but, and do look around. Now, I know every every county, every state is different. I know here in Maryland, thank God, PG got like three of them in just in our county. Mm -hmm. I know my school, Crossland, we always been, been a trade school. My dumb ass didn't find a trade. <laughs> Can I mean, can I feel but that being said, but that being said, you know, they exist. Now, the thing in my opinion, which is spotty, but it does give some people jobs, is job core. That's spotty. Back in the day, back in the day when I went through job core, it used to be solid 100 percent Like, oh, yeah, you got no a fucking more. job. Because it's, now the kids yeah. are going to do that. You got psychopaths that are literally going into job court. You got kids who are either who are going right into jail that are going into job court. You got kids who, if given that little bit of freedom that they are given in job court, they take it and they start robbing. See, like it's just, it's not. It's I'm not, not saying as, all of it's bad, but holy crap! There's a point. You, you know what's you know the biggest? You know what the biggest antagonist in this whole movie is? Education system. I mean, the education look, system. That is period. the only. That is that, that is the only. In, yes, that flows in the job core because those are kids that got failed by the regular public school system. And that's but to be and that's the thing. I will get. I will say this movie and a lot of other movies. It's like they could really tell a story about how. I mean, I think Stan Deliver is the closest that talked about how the education system really fucked these kids over and stuff, right? Yes, you are definitely right. Oh, you have to have a passion for it because you can't just I say I will be an HVAC hey, well, operator. You hey, dog, I was in shit. four different classes. I did well. Welding, I did. Uh, I, I was. I did welding. I was an RTC. I thought I was going to actually use RTC because I really did. Thought I was going to actually end up, end up falling in this military. Too. But my sister, who was in the military, told me not to go into fucking military. So that went to fucking shit. Being in the RTC for almost two years. So anyway, I had other people, but you have to have that that passion for it because if you don't, you just wasted talent for it. Thank God to a couple of my homies. One still a barber. One still cooks, and one dude actually uses RTC the right way and went into the military and all the rest of that shit. So you do have to have the talent for. I know two dudes, and I wish I did this shit. I wish I went into all the motor junk that when I went to crawl. Yeah, I mean, but that's. Bro. But I think, oh, I would have been. A, I would have been a mechanic right now. Oh, we, we talked about it earlier, right? But I would have. I would have did it. Yeah, but that was my thing. It's like the education system really failed it because I think the one thing, and I always go back to this show. I think the Wire did the whole white teacher teaching black kids better because it felt very real with Prez teaching those kids, right? And he's teaching a math class, yeah. but he found something like, "Hey, dice! These kids play dice. I can teach them, you know, fractions through this," and it worked. Like it didn't feel like it was a white. It was like, no, he wanted to teach because he found his calling, and there was no white savior. It was like, look, I'm trying to help these kids by any way I can, within respect of who they are. Cool. It becomes white savior when the director frames it that way. Yeah. When they start framing it like these kids are hopeless without this person, that's when it becomes very disrespectful to me. And really, you know teaching, I mean? Where and it really, becomes very backhanded. That's why when you saw your mom, when your homegirl came out there and said, yeah, they don't need to be doing this and doing this. It's like, yo, you just had this white lady. Look, she lost all hope. She right has there. just lost all hope. Yeah, because you told her that they don't need that education, and I always hated that idea. Like, here's the thing: yes, and even I tell this to my kids. 
it's white man's education. It is the white man's education. I cannot get a, you cannot get around that. And here's the sick part, and that's what I tell a lot of these these kids. You can't change that shit unless you go and go go tell your daddy and your mama to homeschool you. You are going to get the white man's education, and I am so just, sorry. Just just just, just make the and best it, of it. And, it make and, the best of it. Make sure you got to teach. Look look. Hopefully you have a that gives like a you. shit. That gives you shit that make you can actually separate and all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. The other thing about this movie that really pissed me off is that remember the beginning of the movie she said they give her twenty five, twenty four thousand dollars. I'm like, dog, even in ninety four, they need a lot, dog. That's slumming no, it. Boy. Back in, in ninety four, that's slumming it. Even in ninety four, for a teacher, that's backhanded, nigga. Like, I bear in mind too. Here's the she thing. was clicking her heels, and I do like how they said later on that teachers don't get paid. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Here's, the thing. Here's, here's a big correction, and um, shout out to my girlfriend for this. Uh, private school teachers get paid. Yes, they do. Public yes, school teachers. Do. Public school teachers, by what I was told, it's fifty fifty. It's tenure number one. It's your tenure. Yeah, tenure, tenure, tenure for sure. Yeah. And number two, it does matter how how big and how a part of the um, system of the school you are. There are some teachers who are just the oh, that's the kindergarten teacher. And you realize that she's one of the main administrators of the school. She's been there for like 12, 12 fucking years and she's a main cog there. Yeah, she's still getting paid her whatever whatever she's getting paid as a teacher, but she's getting like that little extra because she mm -hmm. actually worked for her and all the rest of that shit. It's still tough on her. She still yeah. need to be getting paid probably 30000 more than what she's getting paid. And then you got teachers like my old teacher who I found out became a principal. Those teachers who become principals those they get paid, and here's the thing about them: they're underpaid too. Oh, principals yeah. are underpaid too, and like I say, it's everybody. Yes, you do get some teachers that make a good living being a public school teacher, and they found a way, or you know, whatever. How how it looked up, they had a spouse, who knows, whatever, and they are they get paid very well. But for the most part, if you want to get money, private school. That's how you get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's up, Sue? I mean, one of your own is a, a teacher. Yeah, yeah. But, dog. I mean, like I say, it's like and, it's, and yes, it's, you you want to know what it was like in Japan, being a <laughs> as far as the pay scale goes in, in teaching. Black Friday, Mister Waterman. Shut up! I know you've seen that damn clip, and I wish, I wish that was a thing when I was over there. Wow. But no, go. No. <laughs> just, just, just talk, Eris. No, 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 but it wasn't. It really wasn't. Hell, Thanksgiving barely became a thing when I was there. It just started. So they ain't even they don't even know what Black Friday was, but now they do. Anyway, being over there as a teacher, you get paid just enough to survive. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the like, way you describe how much you get paid over there. It's like, oh shit. And remember, you as a teacher, you only got paid once a month. I about to say, you so only got paid you, monthly. Yeah, only once a month. And it taught you a very, very fast lesson in uh, in managing money. Now, now that being said, Eris, even if, let's just, just use your head math. You don't have to go into physical math and tell me and all this. But um, we, if you could compare it to American pay, are y'all get did y'all get paid more or oh, it was still the same. kind of like low? Or what? It was the same. Because think about it. Okay. No think, no, think about this. The average, and I'm just gonna do one to one uh, conversion. The average of what a of what an assistant English teacher got was two. It was two hundred and fifty thousand yen. Now take mm -hmm. away about. Uh, ten thousand yen in uh, in taxes alone once a month. So basically, a hundred dollars taken out just like for tax purposes. So you're really walking away uh, with like like two forty five or short of right. So so when you so when you add all that up, a one to one conversion of like twenty five to either twenty five or twenty three hundred dollars a month for a year. Mm -hmm. You're barely clocking in like 35. Yeah. Yeah. And that sounds just like an American teacher. It's an American teacher. It's an American. Wow. And this was just being an assistant teacher. Yeah. Huh. That's an assistant which, um, teacher, though. 
But see, wow. but see, but 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 that still tells you though, man. Like, see, I know, I like, I I I had this. I actually that because you know a lot of people will go with the myth. Well, you know, it's Japan and they smarter, so of course they pay their teachers probably the right way. And look at that face you're making. Look at that face you're making. I have to hear, like I actually had to see, t- like teacher. Like I had a friend, my friend. She was a Which... teacher. She was the assistant principal. <sighs> I was like, you get you like you finally getting that paycheck dragon, you wanted. Seven <laughs> Dragon Balls, wish, okay. <laughs> Yo, she was assistant principal. I'm like, you get that paycheck you want. She's like, nigga, I'm an assistant principal at an elementary school. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah. I died. Oh, and, it, oh, oh and, that was other, and thanks, thanks for reminding me. That also, and it also didn't even matter whether I was doing elementary school or junior high school because I was doing it for a company. They paid me like a base salary. Now, now. If again, like you had said earlier, the money, the real money, colleges, private yep. schools, and all for real. Just if you're yeah, trying to teach, stay sense. clear the fuck away from public schools. If you're makes trying sense. to get, if you're trying to get, uh, I want to say a livable wage, mm-hmm. just go go straight private or or uh, or universities. That's why I say yeah. I give shout outs to any. Any teachers, man or woman, that goes to the public school junk and you stick with it, like I sh- shout out to them. No, for real, because that yeah. means you give a fuck about kids. That means you give a fuck about education. I right. appreciate that. That's tough. It's a, it's like it you is. get and paid more. That's a tough job, bro. And the and thing is, if tough. you have uh, like, I would say if you're if you're ever in like an elementary school or junior high school, middle school, or whichever you want to call it. When you do those, a lot of the times, I want to say a good chunk of those teachers do it for, they do it because they actually love to teach, um, you know, whether it's public school or private school, you know, that particular level mm-hmm. of, uh, of students. Now, the ones that, the ones I believe that, you know, that, that, that want to have more money in the challenge, those are the ones that go for private and colleges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that makes sense. Because there's like, because there's private high schools. There's private. Hell, you got the academies. Like academies, I've seen the academies. Like, academies. Like, I've, like I've seen the academies over in Japan, and the the <laughs> the t- like the students that come out of there, like the uniforms that they wear. Yes, they do dress like how they dress in anime. Yeah. I'm not even talking about the sailor hey, get up or nothing like that. Like yo, look at the students of Orin High School, uh, Orin High School over here, nigga. <laughs> no, no, not Orin, nigga. Justice High School. Okay, look like sure. Justice High School. <laughs> it's Justice High School. <laughs> the little button up joke. Yes, <laughs> them jokes are sweet. I ain't gonna fake. See, see, my my junior, like the the junior high schools that I was teaching in, uh, my students. I went from having students that, you know, that will wear like a button up, just just a shirt, just a button up shirt and the uh, oh, oh, the Jen Kazama uh, 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 school pants from Tekken 3. Jen um, Kazama school pants. Fucking great teacher Onizuka over here and shit. No, no, no. Oh, that, that, see, that was just one of the schools I had. But my last school that I was in, oh, every day they wore their um, they wore their they wore their track suits. That was their uniform. Was their was their tracksuit? See, that's just see that's. It was pretty badass too because that's just a little too nice on that one, man. No, it, no, it was badass too because the pr- the font that they used was the NBA Street Volume Two style font to spell out their school. <laughs> Darius, I swear to God, I'm mad I, you, I bullshit you. I not. am mad that you didn't get a picture of all those kids behind you smiling like a little selfie, and it just says under there, "My life is an anime." They're like, I like, I'm just. Like, I mean, you gave us no, no, several no, no, different no, no, pictures no, no. of my life as an anime. No, no, That's no. just what I'm shocked. No, 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 no. See, y'all never asked. The four years I've been back here, we never had this first, conversation. First off, we were more look, 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 look. You gotta understand. First off, we were more concerned about the uh, the, 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 the the weeb aspect of Japan. Fuck the teacher. And also, and also, Eris, it's, took- it's a different avenue that I've went into, sir. Hey, it don't matter. The hey, weeb no, is no, what no, we no, were no, there for, sir. No, no, Gundams. No, 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 Fighter. And you are no, 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 You got to motherfuckers never even came to visit me. Hey, look, first off, look, first off, Eris, you took on my pussy every time I talked to you when I had to hear do, 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 do. I gotta go. <laughs> and he did that. Yeah. Oh shit. God. Uh, 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 also, I was doing crazy. Also, right? hold on. Also, 
Eric's like, yeah, D, so, you know, I mean, I'm just going, I'm walking and working now. I'm working and working now. Yeah, man. Do, 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 Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. Eric, she don't know this one. This was late at night. I was working on like we was just talking, and you was walking home, walking home like usual. It's daytime over here, midnight over here. I'm hearing gunshots over here. But anyway, look, yeah, there's gunshots over here. Landover being landover, right? Over on Eris' oh. side. Eris, thank you for this. This is when you was living in Gunma. Ding oh, ding, God. ding ding, ding ding, it's ding right. ding. <laughs> I heard every anime oh, sound God. ever God. you didn't have to give me eris you didn't have to give me nothing you gave me sonic i gotta be honest with you the funniest sonic the levels fun, <laughs> the funniest shit ever though was we did an episode early 3bg eris had got japan he was still in limbo of whether he was gonna work over there and that's when he was just walking around and we were all talking on skype and you could just hear the, the gravel, the, <laughs> the gravel, the people in the background, the train the bustling, he might have gotten on, the, just the bustling just... city of of <laughs> Tokyo. What did they call Tokyo in Japan? Did they just say Tokyo? Tokyo, Tokyo. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I hold on, why a party be done? There's like, no, like what do you call it? Tokyo, in Japan? Well, Nandi, what nigga? No, like, you know what I mean? Like, like wait, everything, <laughs> everything in the background, and we're all like, man, hope Eris is okay and he can get home. You oh, know. Man. What I mean? I think, again, no, again. no, one, no. The, the one I think that got, I want to say I think I got both of y'all with this because if it was ever five o'clock, like five o'clock in the evening, uh, my time, and we were ever on the phone, you would hear, you would hear that song play over the loudspeaker, and that was the, it's time for kids to go in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they yeah. only play that in in the suburbs. Uh, they never really played in the city, but they definitely played it over in the suburbs. They played it right now. Right. You know, okay, look, look, y'all, look, 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 look I've been look, promising. Look. My life is a teacher. There you go. There you <laughs> right, go. Look, look, there you his, go. his life is an anime, y'all. That's all y'all. <laughs> That's all right, that, you that was just right little, here. That was um, just a little spitball right there. There you go. But no, nah, but no, nah, but but here's the thing. She she gets through to the kids. Uh, it was Dylan Thomas, then Bob Dylan D. Dylan yeah, Thomas, was Dylan, but she had the whole Dylan Dylan thing. Mm. <laughs> Dylan Dylan. It, it, it was it no, was no, Bob no. Dylan. It was no, no, no. It's Dylan Thomas, then Bob Dylan. Okay. Yeah, because Dylan Thomas for that. Yeah, Dylan. Look, look, either which look, way, look. it was Dylan. This is the first time ever we saw niggas in masks going, "Yo, what that Bob <laughs> Dylan joke say?" It which first <laughs> to the credit to, to the up, credit, he got, like he got the plug. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> I understand. You got something for me, bro? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. I understand why. White people, you're trying to reach us and understand this and trying to make it, oh, it's drugs. Make it all the edgy mm. stuff that that the brown kids might like. I get it. But you got to understand how cringe and how poking the bear that is. To me. Like, it just feels like it's on the same level as a white person. Like, hey, hey, conservatives, if you lock up all the Mexicans, who's going to who's gonna get, uh, like, who's going to, oh, uh, Who's gonna get all your food for you? Ha ha ha! And like so, nigga, that's racist. So, I didn't mean it that way. No, bitch, that's racist. It's like, so, like even that right there. Like, why are you trying to get us to fight each other? Like, yeah. So there's three like, students. What makes you think I know about a drug dealer? So there's three students in particular that uh, Luann gravitates to. Uh, one is Raul, played by uh, what's it, uh, Renoli Santiago. He was in Hackers. It's our second movie yeah, that we yeah, talked yeah. about. Uh, Emilio, who we talked about. And you got Callie. And Callie's the black girl. Callie's the black girl. Yeah, uh, the black her girl. mom, who is played by Lorraine Toussaint, um, is the one that's like, I mean, my daughter's going to this other school because she's about to have a kid. So, she you gotta know, learn how to be a mom. She got to learn how to be a mom, you know, which, look, in the black community, when it comes to girls being single moms, it's, it's so fucked up a little bit how, like, the old guard. Damn, D. Yeah, it's ninety four. She's screwed. Yeah, yeah, ninety four. No, 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 no. no. I, no I yeah, just, but this is how, like, in, in the nineties, if you were a black chick and you prego, it was like, yo, they made it seem as like your life is done. Yo, I love how Hollywood loves doing that. Like, <laughs> well, I'm pregnant. Where's the baby father? At? He not with me no more. Or they always or, do or, some shit or, like that. Or, or, or D, this one. Or or D, the father. That's not my kid. Oh man, they love doing that one. <laughs> they, 
Yeah, terrible. exactly. It's very terrible. I love how in this one, Michelle don't fight for them even bother looking for that nigga. So good for her. But um, yeah, yeah that, that's 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 another subplot we don't need in this fucking movie. <laughs> that's another subplot we don't need. But I like in her case, it wasn't so much of, you know. Like, I don't have nobody to protect me. I didn't know all this. It was more of, look, I'm about to be pregnant. I got I to help mom, dudes, take care of the family. A little brother, he does tap dancing really well. So, you know, I'm going to help invest in the family and shit. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Like, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it's about to be really rough in that family. But it sounds like they got a plan. Michelle, That's a plan of action here. Like she's like, no, she just said this school over here. And I'm like, damn. Like, got, nah, you know what Michelle they said? A, they got a plan Michelle, B. They got a plan B. Look, Michelle's <laughs> sitting there. Look, Eris, Michelle's sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I think I can help. I think you can change the reads. Oh, wait, wait. Reads and retired cat woman. Reads. <laughs> ah! Reads and pleased Caucasian. <laughs> Please go. Content Reed, Caucasian. Reason. Content Caucasian. Reason, which is of Eastwick. Um, which is of Eastwick. <laughs> yeah, she was in that movie. <laughs> wait, which is of Eastwick. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. She was in that movie. She was in that movie. She was in that movie. No, no. I got one for you. I got one. Eris, Eris. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. When you get back to Baltimore and found out that your husband was killed in a in a shootout with oh, Columbia. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is that is a year, Eris. That's a year out of the motherfucking rehab. Elvira's feeling good. She about to change her name to to something more Catholic. That's that's you know what. Also, that's she a woman. Red, who, Tony got fucked up in Miami. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. This is the look of a woman that just needs a fat white husband for a fucking comedy. Hey, for, hey, for, for ABC comedy. A no, a 1992 John Goodman. Yes. Bro. Hey, 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 not hey, King yo. of Queens? Nope, not yo, King yo. of Queens. I'm going old school. I'm keeping it relevant to this year. So, yes, John Goodman in the Chris. 90s. It's the denim, it's the denim button up. It's making you say that. <laughs> it really is. It's like, she just needs a fat, fat white husband who works at, like, not UPS or some shit. I don't know. Oh, man. Look, I mean, look at that he smile. Hey, look, the look most blue collar. Of jobs. Oh, no, 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 no. Chris, he works. Chris, he works the loading dock at Kroger. Doc. It doesn't nah. matter. It's just a dock. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Let's switch it up because I haven't seen this in the show. He's an HVAC worker. Never seen an HVAC. He's worker. He's an HVAC, 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 HVAC. 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 HVAC worker. He's HVAC worker. HVAC worker. Hold on, hold on. I got a question. Does his par- does his dad visit a lot, or does his dad live with him? Hmm. See, this is this is where the comedy comes from. This is where the uh, comedy better. This no, is no, 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 I got you. He lives next door. Oh, oh so we going for the king. Wait a minute, what king of Queens? No, 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 no. He lived with, live with them. He lived Everybody with loves Raymond. His Everybody loves Raymond. Raymond. They were close. They were close by. They were next yeah. door. Yeah. No, see, uh-huh. like I see. They were next door. Yeah, they were next door. Yeah. I say lives next door, but you only see him off some home improvement shit. You only see him from the fence. And he has no, 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 no. You can see his body, but he doesn't go on the other side mm-hmm. of the fence. No, 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 no. See, unlike, like, unlike the, unlike Home Improvement, like, where we can you, see where, the where you only, where, where you only just saw this. Unlike Home Improvement, no, you, you can actually see his face. You can only, you'll see about this much. You know, <laughs> like, and we at least see the shenanigans in his yard, or is it one of those things where we literally have to puppet some stuff on the side? Yes. It's the nineties. It's the nineties puppet. It's the nineties. No, dummy legs. Dummy legs. Ragdoll hey, physics. Hey, real quick, y'all. Real quick, y'all. Smiles and inspired Caucasian. <laughs> I'm this. No, but I'm this. Tell serious. me, this why picture, are we so blind this picture, to see these kids are poetic? No, sir. This picture. Go back. That picture is perfect. Like I said. When you get back to Baltimore and find out that your old soon-to-be ex-husband was killed in a shootout in Miami. Smiles, smiles and random jewel song. Ayers, hey guys, here you go. Wow. They really want to be somebody. And they really <laughs> want to kill somebody. Go Better wake up and pay attention. It looks no. like they did wake up and pay attention. <laughs> nope. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and use the line from the movie. Wow. They really did understand that there are no victims in this classroom. Let me tell you something hey, about hey, that. Hey, look, look, I didn't say that last that, part. Remember when that, I gave my, that, my rant? Ooh. I didn't go into that last part. There are no victims here. 
white people? Go fuck Why yourself. do y'all Go think fuck on that. you can Go fuck say it. that to us? I wanted to jump inside the movie and punch her in the face for that shit. That I no- love... <laughs> hey, Michelle, look. Michelle, look. I know you were feeling yourself. I understand you were feeling yourself, Michelle. I understand. I'm trying to make- <laughs> <laughs> You know what, D? You know what, D? You know what? <laughs> Aaron, I'm sorry, man. You okay? <laughs> D, here's the fucked up part about this. You can't do that! Here's the, here's the fucked up part about that image, right? I would, I would have respected... Hold on, hold on. Time out. Who did it? Who, who? You know what? I would have respected... Hollywood pictures, if they put, if they had Michelle Pfeiffer's character wear a kufi for the poster of this movie, I don't no, respect I wouldn't, that shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You want to know why? You already put, shit. you already, you already no, stabbed no, 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 me no, in the no, side no, with the no, bullshit no, no. in the movie. No, you might Chris, as well go Chris, all in. Chris, 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 stop, stop. This is the reason why I won't respect it is because that shit will age horribly when white people start appropriating it in the twenties. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Look, yo, yo, shout think out to me. No, 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 no. I know what you're talking when about, white, though. When white people had the, white people had the dashikis and the kufis and they were on one knee, I was done. I don't no, want to ever see this shit no, again. But, no, no, no. But here's the kicker about <sighs> this. The <sighs> show. No, I want people to understand this. This movie spawned off a short-lived show on ABC. That tells you ABC didn't Ooh, that was very the show. They put Super any no, they, they, put, they chose any pots from Ghostbusters to be the Michelle Pfeiffer character. And I mean, look, 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 check this out, yo. Check this out. For 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 a a show? Movie called, TV look. show on this movie? Why? <laughs> did any any pots? Did you need to check? Did you need to check? Was Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 not paying you enough? I tell you what. I tell you what. Wait, I hope her ass come down here. I hope she do. Was the Zionist woman, woman not giving you residuals, ma'am? Ma'am, was the woman not giving you residuals? CJ. He's CJ. a little ass down. CJ. I ain't please. Bill Murray. I like, fuck C- your hey, ass CJ, up. please, 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 CJ. She needed to get her maximum paid off, okay? Can, can she just have that? Apparently, her and Tamala Jones. Yeah, Tamala Jones is the black chick in, in the TV show. Wait, wait, by the way, Chris, Chris, you said Maxima. I said that. I, you said Maxima. I didn't. Anybody, you said any pot. I was about to say CRX. You, 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 you shut up the fuck up. up. The Aris, Chris, shut the fuck up. This is between me and my best friend on this. What nigga did you just say? The any pots. That's, that's the top tier. That's it. Could have said Dale Soul. That would have been. Mm-mm. Nah, nope. nah, she ain't got Dale, so she got that back because she wanted to be cool a little bit. I mean, come on, she all listen. She almost listen. She That's almost slept. Like, sir, 94. listen. She almost she almost slept with Rick Moranis on the set of she Ghostbusters. Look, 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 hey, Chris, hey, Chris. <laughs> she was feeling herself. Hey, Chris, it was either that or the yellow. Uh, it was either that or the yellow Integra, and she didn't like the Integra because it's it like it, it like. Like, like it smelled bad inside, and she didn't like it. You know, it's like a smell. It was a Dude, smell. I'm looking. I'm looking now, do at this. Fa- now, oh, D, do me a favor. Do me, uh, D, do me a favor. Uh, can you go back? Can you put that other picture back up? No, not that. <laughs> not that one. Not that one. The other one that you. Yes, thank you. I need <laughs> to. I, I need to see Nega Maya Angelou one more time. Nega, need to face off. You need to face Angelou. off. You need to face off. Nigga, you need to have. Angel. Actually, here's what yes. you need to do, D. Here's yes. what you need Nigga, to do. Nigga, D, D. my Angelou. What we need to do is this. For the YouTube thumbnail and also for our promotion, we need to have this and Michelle Pfeiffer and the Koopy and put like a versus shit in the middle. Yes. I hate this movie, Chris. Why are you making me do work for it? This <laughs> movie sat down and told a whole bunch of room with color kids that <laughs> you we, we, we are not, we are not the victims. We are not I, victims in here. Ma'am, I, I, a year ago, Rodney King got beat in L.A. The fuck are we talking about I here? Like, I like how she is sitting in a school that is literally a fucking cog in the system going clink, 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 clink. And she's like, you can break out of here. I love it's one thing. It's I one love thing. That. But look, it's one thing when people, black folks, our parents' age, pull that respectability politics on us. 
fine. Pull yourself out of bootstraps. We expect that shit, right? Because you, know, uh, you know, nigga parents it's, it's, are gonna say some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, they're gonna do some shit like that. But when a white person say it, it's like, look, bitch, you got the audacity to tell me that I'm not a victim. <clears throat> because <laughs> because all that's gonna get you is going like, all right now. Y'all done heard what Mr. Johnson say. Now we got to come together as some good now goons and try to make us pull ourselves up now. Now, Eris, I know you're not fond of working. Now, I need you to be the best nigga you can be. Chris, now I know you got a problem with, with, with white men telling you what to do. You're going to you're gonna have to stuff it down. Stuff it deep and down, brother. Because we are not doing that today. We are not losing ourselves today. Now, this white man did us good. He done did us well. We need to come together and make it move because we are not the victims here. Me being <clears throat> me being the one black guy who uh coming fresh out of Oakland. Nigga ain't nobody said that shit. Shut up. Man, shut your ass up, man. Why you just like, why you talking like a slave? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nah, nah. Chris. That be Chris. That be Chris. That be Chris. Why you talking like a slave? Chris, why you over there talking like Fitler off a muff? Nigga, do Wait. I look like Chicken George? <laughs> Chicken you been George like, I ain't no Ben Vereemers in this motherfucker over here trying to tell us. <laughs> no, no. Here's the kicker. So... I ain't run five miles. Hold up. I ain't run five miles just to get caught by a country ass white folks. <laughs> Flip side to this. I'm just telling, man. Man, you, you really? This nigga really? gave me a choice. You know, John in Amos. <laughs> You ain't, you uh, ain't look, 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 do I look like John Amos up in this motherfucker? You gonna tell me what to do? Well, here's my thing. Kiss me behind me. you, nigga. <laughs> nah, nah, here's the thing. So we got, we already talked about Cali. Raul. Raul is just a kid that got sucked into the gang culture. She's trying to get him out because she knows how smart he is. The big scene for him is basically, because she sees obviously potential in him and stuff. It's, you know, to him going to the restaurant with her, right? And she's like, you know, like typical kids, they don't know about she need menus. Her hands outside. Up that child, she need she need to really get her hands up on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Y'all hey, see how handsy she was. Hey, hey, hey look, look, look. When he I'm rolled gonna, up, I'm gonna hey, get hey, your hey, hands keep, off him. Keep moment, keep moment, be. Well, I'm actually not allowed to put my hands on you. That was that was minute eight in the movie. And here's the thing. Here, hold up. Fast forward to the restaurant. No, that's Come on, handsome. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, and also, Freshly you know, divorced. This man got a fucking ponytail, got the leather jacket. You freshly divorced. And you know what? I hate to be that nigga. You got this pile of sex walking around. You got Rico. You got we got no, Rico not, Suave not, not, Jr. Not. over here. Man, you no, got no, Manolo's no, no. son. You got Manolo's son, Craig, over here. I'm like, yo. <laughs> But Raul is the one that you that your pussy get wet for. All right. So I, Chi Chi's son. It's <laughs> messed up. He messed up if it's true. He come on. He's the he's the, he's the short Mexican. <laughs> but hey, at I'll, the same time, hey, hold on. Hey. At the same time, at the same time, Chris, at the same time, short Mexican, but willing to throw hands on Emilio, who's got a full foot over him. So. Hey, look, 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 look. Though his explanation for why he had to fight. Yeah, I got my. It's basically pride, which all right, I'm, it it's pride. You know, hey, I can't. Nigga, I, nigga, I, nigga you ever been? You ever been around a Mexican neighborhood in, in L.A. in 1995? Yeah, it's pride. It's, it's pride. I mean, it's the same with it's the same with Emilio too, because Emilio's whole thing is basically it's pride. It's like I can't yes. sit here and be hiding from this guy that's trying to kill me because my pride won't allow this shit to happen. Now, I know, but, I know, but what I'm saying, no, no, Chris, what I'm saying is, you ever been around that shit in 1995? No, 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 no I'm agreeing with you. Wait, wait, it's just, let me, fin let me just... finish, let me finish, let me finish. I'm saying, you ever been around that shit in 1995, sir? It's like a trap, but with empanadas. Yeah. Get the fuck off this podcast right now. <laughs> podcast is <laughs> over. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> this is not saying. Bro, chill, 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 chill. Oh, chill. Get off your brother. All right. Anyway, this is a clip of the fight between Emilio and Raul. Let me tell you something. Yeah. And that was actually the fight. I'm not even kidding you. That was the fight. <laughs> really? That's can I, can I say, now can I say, listen, as much as I want to give him, uh, uh, Raul, I want to give Raul uh, heart points. I want to say the thing he got heart. And Billy was just standing there eating all that shit, and then at the same time, yo, did he did he pick up Raul's friend and seismic toss him into a locker? He did. Just the opposite select the strong on that stunned. one. 
Son, <laughs> the option select was so real. You cannot sit here and FADC into a ground. <laughs> that, 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 that was that was a that was a uh, EX fucking throw. <laughs> I think you get a whole bro, black guy, bro. Ex command ground. <laughs> I think you get a Yo, whole uh, black guy. <laughs> Chris, no, Chris. He did. He did the Hugo throw for third strike. The nigga snatch, eat <laughs> into the wall. Nigga bounce. What's up, baby? Talk that shit now. Be real with you, man. That nigga bounced off the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with Emilio. Emilio was not doing that. <sighs> you muted, Chris. Oh man, Chris muted himself. Holy shit! He did. He oh, no, did. I, I didn't. No, I didn't mute myself. I think I got like a a second delay when D played the video. So whatever. Yeah, whatever, no, whatever. whatever. Oh, either way, either way, Emilio, Emilio and Raul are two sides of the same coin. It's pride, but with Emilio, with Raul, it's literally he has potential, and Luann doesn't want to see him wasted because. There is a point that she made was it's hard to maintain an A. It's not hard to get an A, which is true. This is true. Yeah. I, I mean, she's true. right. Yeah, it's harder to maintain it than it is to get it. I like, how, I like how Raul was about to get a full ass whooping from his dad. Until Bro, she, until that she Robin Harris in. meme? <laughs> look, look, until she walked in, don't Latino family. He's one of the good ones. I am so proud of Raul. He's smart. Silencio. Silencio. Look, look, Silencio. look, Eric, look, Eric, Chris. He's smart, intelligent. <clears throat> you know, he talks to me every day, and I look at him and I see a growing, a growing young man. And yeah, he's he's he's, he's, he's passing. He's passing. Like, I'm sorry. Right. The look she kept making to Raul was like, chick, he is 17. I you're being need nice. you to cool that it. motherfucker was 16. All right. Hey, look, 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 look. Hey, yo, Michelle, I know you're from Baltimore and I know how y'all roll, but chill. <laughs> Damn, she is from Baltimore, ain't she? Uh, hey, look, go, look, back all right, all right, go back real quick. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. <clears throat> I would like for uh, the Mexicans here to understand that my powers of finesse hail <laughs> from the mountains of Mount Caucasus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You Spaniards stick your any chance for me. <laughs> I am Anglo Saxon and probably partially Dutch. <laughs> Silencio, por favor. So, listen. To, all right. So, all of you and your, in, so put down your enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> Not even tacos, enchiladas. <laughs> Potential See, I was at least potential. hold up. I was at least I was at least more no, I was at least more creative. I said I said, I said empanadas, nigga. <laughs> A trap with empanada. Go to your go to your L Street Fighter O in the corner. We are no longer in East Los, Los Angeles. All right, guys, you can sit down and eat your guacamole all day. Guacamole. Remember, it's the nineties. It's the nineties. You know how to say guacamole. And remember, guacamole. Hey, this is a fun little thing for a lot of y'all kids that didn't know this. Did you know that guacamole in the nineties was rich nigga shit? It was like rich nigga shit for white people. But you know what Spanish people said? Nigga, we use this shit all the time. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, you know what, man? Well, well, well technically, hold on, hold on. You want to know? You want to know how white people evolved it and made it? You know, made it their own avocado toast. Mm -hmm. It was around about the two. I don't care what anyone says. That's that, that that is God. If I took some avocado toast and put it under a fucking box with a stick over it, I'm gonna catch one. Avocado toast is the most overrated fucking bullshit food. Avocado ever. toast, it is. white people look, white people look. The last time I believe y'all was bread. And road runner, but if I was to do that, I swear I would catch a blonde one. I would nah, catch nah, a pumpkin spice. Airs, airs. Airs. No, 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 no. It would be pumpkin spice sitting next to a, a pair of UGG boots. All right, that's that's the move. I'm sorry, Eris, Eris, Eris. You want to catch this white girl or not, Eris? Say that you're a black man with no job. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing, uh, sir? Nigga? Sir, you're wrong. Are we catching? No, hey, Eris, no, no. Eris. Uh, nah, D. Are we trying to catch flies or are we trying to get a 
fucking oh we're trying to get a motherfucking prize hog for the fair here what are we doing D, well, I'm just oh, wait well, no oh, wait pump the brakes i'm trying pump to get the free george pump i need a brakes, big white pump the brakes, girl, right? pump the brakes pump the brakes <laughs> are we trying to do this in 1995 or 2023 uh, one, of the, uh, one of them one of them years is gonna come no, no, no chris no, one of them no, years no, is gonna no, cause no, us to no, get no, shot no, i'm just saying both of you are wrong because if you no 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 both of you are wrong no 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 both of you are wrong the golden way to get white women was being a black man of middle class and conservative. All right, that's in how you get year. them. Not in current year. Uh, uh, ninety in current year. Yes. Not in current year, nigga. Just say, hey, white girl, I can do you like one of them niggas doing black. <laughs> oh my god, you're nasty. My 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 Snapchat is five four. <laughs> It's like whatever. First off, who uses Snapchat anymore? I'm sorry. Unless uh, you're a sex who, worker. Who Unless is, you're a sex uh, worker. Sex workers, That's it. Sex workers. Current year skanks use them. Yeah, yeah. Not, not Susan. Who? Susan ain't using Snapchat. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Not Susan. Hold on. Not Susan. But Abby from fourth. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is not Abby in Fourth. She's a Susan. She ain't going on Snapchat. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. No, I didn't no. say her. Hey, dude. I clear, hey, I'm guys. Clearly, guys. Michelle Pfeiffer is still hey, on Black guys. Planet, all right? Come on now. No, Michelle Pfeiffer doesn't like all the rest of the white women. She just goes to a little group on Facebook and they tell her what to do to make sure that little the little Spanish kid get with her. There's a group of them. There's a group of them, you nigga. Hey, Chris, Chris, the one thing I hate about Facebook, but I love about Facebook, throw a line out. You're going to be, you getting a bite. You know what? You know what's funny? something. She, she's there's gonna key, be a group uh, of uh, look, there's gonna be a group of thirty weirdos looking back at you. I like the same thing. Luann, too. did y'all realize you Luann, Lu, Luann low key made Raul an indentured servant with that two hundred dollars? You need to you need to stop that shit. Nah, the Chris makes a point. The second she said that whole thing about the two hundred dollars, like yo, yo, remember she said this like, well, you know, I can just give you the two hundred dollars, like yo, Raul, you are gonna have to eat this chick out, bro. This is just, <laughs> this is the only way you gonna get out of this. servitude, there, buddy. Hey look, hey, look here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Much Nick, you, much, like, much, wait, wait, wait. You will get wait, wait. blackmailed. Like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> well, Raul, you are about to graduate, so uh, technically it'll be legal. <laughs> Throw some adobo on that shit and eat her out, man. Shut Ooh. up, Chris. <laughs> I need you hey, to Chris, shut hey, all hey, the way Chris. up. Hey, nigga, Chris. I need you to 600 yourself right now. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Give this nigga a 600, please. <laughs> Y'all like hey. this damn podcast, all right? <laughs> hey, Christopher. Christopher. First off, are you trying to tell me? I mean, yeah, she has no seasoning down there, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> You. I'm just imagining now Michelle Pfeiffer. It's what remember, it's the 90s. So when they have these things as intense, they all kissing each other hard and shit. And she got her hair all ruffled and shit. And the camera doing the seat, full 360 look, rotation. You know what I mean? They in the back seat. He rips off her skirt and she does a little whole 90s nigga. You know, all that shit. And all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, dude, and not even that. On top of that, oh my god! Just, just the fact that even when she's telling him about like how he's gonna do after, because basically the shit that happened with Emilio of him getting killed after he didn't knock on the principal's door, it off pushes her to the death. Off screen death. She gets the news that he dies to the point to where it's this very solemn, and that's where she says we're not, you know, the whole victim speech and shit. No, 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 the victim. No, that victim oh, speech before. was way it's, earlier. Way okay, earlier. Way earlier. Before, before, but like, she, got, before somebody died. But it's like, it's so solemn because it's like, because it's like, so that that's what made you quit? You couldn't handle death? Like, nah, 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 nah. Chris, hold on. Let's put everything into perspective. This this shit was a square, okay? Let me introduce you corner one. Emilio getting killed. It, especially when she knew that whoa, shit whoa, was whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Talk before the end. Let me finish. Nah, nah. Emilio getting killed was was corner number one. Corner number two, uh, Callie going to that school, uh, like for for soon to be mothers. Mm-hmm. Both corners three and four were the two black kids that actually showed promise. But again, nigga Maya Angelo over here said, Nah, <laughs> nah. My bo- like my grandboys, they need to get these bills paid. Ain't you got social security? 
Just See, saying. that would get, Eris, Eris, that would get you slapped in a black household. You don't ever bring that I don't up. know. All of this does sound like bag fumbled what? territory. What, me getting slapped for, like what? I would get slapped for making a, an honest point? <laughs> no, if you live with her, you said, but grandma, don't you have social security? The fuck you talking about? <laughs> no, like, don't slap me. Of- like, hold up. Don't slap me because you didn't prepare for your life. <laughs> As you get popped upside the head the second time. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. And when she does that get, does that grandma get? He be like, ah, God, was that, why am I bleeding? What the fuck? <laughs> why am I tumbling <laughs> over furniture? How is your two Aaron. fingers that damn strong? Aaron, like I said, like I said, grandma, you got to tell you something. <laughs> I'm like, tell you something about all the all the black. I'm like, nigga, that would hold up, nigga. I got like I got poked my civil rights fingers. <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> That was the strength of civil rights. First off, first off civil rights right fingers. Picking fingers, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> this racism is killing me inside. Hey, that, that's uh. That's <laughs> 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 a. <laughs> Dude, what is with what is with older <laughs> black dude? What is with older black folks and how they love to do that bullshit when you give them common sense advice? Like you somehow insult their intelligence. Like, am I a joke to you? Like, <laughs> I took that personally. Now I'm like, it's common sense, Bob. Common sense. <laughs> I like it. All right, look, here's the what I found. See, out we get was, hit because we're right. <laughs> thank you. It's like, yo, <laughs> what I found out was. That the previous generation from our parents didn't take no handouts for the government. If they did, they were looked down upon for doing so, all the rest of that. That's why a lot of baby boomers didn't do that shit. That's why a lot of baby boomers make me laugh when they go, Y'all gonna have social security. Shut up, Dad. Shut up all you know we ain't gonna have it. Stop it. Stop it. That's a yeah, fallacy for me. No, I'm a, what, what, look, no, 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 what, no. that, look, what, look, I'm really looking forward to that $100,000 in 2060 time. I'm really looking forward to that. Hey, you live off that. You're just going to be on a budget. You're going to be no, one of them niggas on a budget. No, 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 no. Social Security for us, nigga, that's enough to clear at least a month and a half of rent. I'm just saying. Oh, it'd be so funny. All these niggas buying PlayStation 6s with they. <laughs> Sir, no, PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation 8. I'm sorry, PlayStation, PlayStation 10. No, PlayStation X. I'll be mad. Yeah. Look, look, I'll be mad. PlayStation that I, X. Here's the funny thing. No, PlayStation the Revolution. Guys. No, it ain't going to be fact. numbered anymore. This is going to be like a circle or some bullshit like that. Something that's just very. Look, look. Us, 2060. Whatever the design is, here's us. Oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, each of our respective... Wa- it each, ain't each that important. Team, shut team up. Team play, like, play, like, Team PlayStation proudly presents the Sony. Each the each, Sony. Of our respect, each of our respective wives looking at us like, so you just going to buy that, huh? You got money in Social Security uh, for that, Chris? Yes, I, yes, I do. <laughs> look, look, do you realize... No, no you want to know, che- know how we check our balances? On some Tony Stark Jarvis shit. <laughs> All right, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I can actually. We got budget. That. We can budget this. Eris, <laughs> Eris, will you do that? Will you do that? Why do you see above that? Bank of America now powered by Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Navy Federal Credit Union Ooh, <laughs> under the actually, parent. Wait, wait, wait. Navy Fe- Navy Federal Credit Union under parent company Target. Hey, hey, yo, hey, 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 real talk, y'all. Don't laugh at that last joke when Eris just did. I know this country. We won ugly ass election away for some bullshit like that. Only fans get swallowed up by Pornhub. And we're all like, thank God. Actually, Ooh. no, no. Ooh. Or the Ooh. other way around. Ooh. Or the other way around where only fans, look, only fans. Are you kidding me? Only fans took over X video. I mean, look, D, it's not look, it's D, shit anymore. I ain't gonna be honest with you, D. Like D, this, D, D, you say the, that the Swedes gave up. The Swedes no, gave no, up. No, 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 D, 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 you say that. I give three years till that happens. You better, you better see. Now I need the clip of Michael Clark Duncan. Don't you put that evil on me. I got no, no, no. I got one more evil to put on y'all. Oh God. Uh in his second term as president, Ron DeSantis buys Reddit. 
Nigga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I need something. I need something. Ooh. How did he get to a second one? That's what I said. His, that's what I said. His first act in his second term. <laughs> he buys Reddit. And yet Nigga. through it all, I'm, I'm manifesting this. BlurCon, sponsored by 3BG. Next, um... Thank you, Chris. Hey, 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 y'all. Imagine, imagine, imagine the Hilton, imagine the Hilton. You over there like, well, I guess I'm going to have to sell it. And then you look at the door. I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> Mr. George. You like, this, <laughs> this is all snap. I'm leaving, nigga. No, 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 no. I'm like, no, 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 like, no, 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 D, chill, chill, chill. Like, no, D, chill, chill. I got this. Mr. George. I have a proposition for you. <laughs> All three of us got to look like Calvin Candy from fucking D- Django Unchained. No, see, y'all gonna look like Calvin Candy. I'm gonna look like Keith David in Barbershop. It's like, gentlemen, <laughs> you roused my curiosity. <laughs> now you got my attention. <laughs> I like to see what I like. Actually, what I plan to do, uh, Mr. George, is I'm gonna take the Blurricon Barbershop and I'm gonna turn it into a gentleman's club, if you will. <laughs> Tits and ass, tits and ass with DJ yeah, Senpai like, in the corner. Like, no, 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 CC. I'm gonna make it very respectable. You know, you can come in, you know, get yourself a trim, and you can get some trim. All the girls that be dressed up like little barbers. I'm done with you. <laughs> oh my god, Eris, I will literally, I'll literally look at you like Eris, get the fuck out the room right now. You're ruining this deal. <laughs> ruining this deal right now. I'm like, think I rented this suit. You know I'm gonna do this damn bit. <laughs> You know, two, you know, two to two. Hold on. Shout out to a couple people here. Yeah, I know. It's probably 2028. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's CJ. Y'all can't say shit if if Hilton looks at it and goes, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. I actually like that. I would say, "Uh uh-huh. He shot down both of y'all ideas and took mine. Fuck you niggas. And then I walk out. Anyway. CJ, we love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. It's Eris' vi- villain origin story. That's how he ends up being the yes. dude that gropes uh, black women at Blurricon. It's like, damn. Hate hey, to see it. Don't you put that shit on me, hate dog. Hate to see it. You hate, hate to see it. No, hate you see ain't it. never going to see it. You ain't never going to see it. Hate to see it. I will it. die on that fucking hill. You will never see that. <laughs> 4K, 8K, 16K, nigga. You will never see that. It does not exist. <laughs> Me being a hypocrite, I'm all slapping chicks' asses like, yeah, Eris, you shouldn't really be doing that. <laughs> this hypocrite like shit. Okay. Meanwhile, these in the corner okay. count money like Jesus Christ, guys. I'm busy here. So anyway. But anyways, uh, but no, nah, it's just like the, like Sue said, like it's the four corners of all this and stuff. In a typical movie fashion, she's on the precipice of quitting. Then she comes back and says, I guess I'll stay. Bro, it's because they said you can't give up, you can't give in. All of those, like all them poems that you had us, that you had us reciting. They say we got to do it. You can't give. Yeah, in. you can't give in. You don't mean that shit. You just running your mouth. Like, like, it, it, you know what? All it took, really. Well, you gotta think about it, guys. When one of your favorite students students get off screen killed, it means a lot. <laughs> Number one, that just shows how much that character meant to this movie by like getting killed off screen. I felt that Number was kind of backhanded. I felt that was kind of backhanded. Real talk, the bitch didn't even go to his funeral. So I'm just uh uh <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. The nigga didn't even have a funeral, no, dog. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. See, I was, I was hypothetical. If they don't show a funeral, did he really have a funeral? If his family didn't first of all, when he died, did he really have a family? First if of the all, family didn't show up in the final scene in the classroom, did it really happen? Hey, D, first of all, did first his of all, mom Christmas, show up? CJ, did his CJ, mom, CJ, hey, CJ, shout out to the movie. No, 
no, no, no, CJ, I refuse to believe that this nigga pulled a Glenn and hid under a damn dumpster, okay? Hey, yo. That did not happen. That nigga is gone. The movie's budget would not allow us to see him get killed now, here's Harris, on screen. Harris, Harris, shout out to the movie not doing this shit where she's, like, going to her car and she sees, like, are you, are you my son's teacher? Yes, who are you? I am Emilio's mother. You showed him that he could be more than what he was in the streets. Oh my God! He confided I, in me. He was. He was almost. He was. He, he was confided in me. me. Oh God. D- no, my son. Gentlemen, g- gentlemen, deleted. Deleted scene, bro. <laughs> deleted bro, scene, bro. You know there was a cipher in a very powerful scene. Guys, did you know Andy Garcia was supposed to be her love interest in this movie? <laughs> they cut it all out the movie completely. Hey, look, I'm gonna put it out there. Andy Garcia is <laughs> is power blasting the walls. Oh, 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 Raul is a belt sander. Let me tell you something. Nigga, full belt sander. That, that you know what? I gotta be honest with you. That explains everything about Raul because I feel if Andy Garcia is in the movie, it would deviate away from her really looking oh, at Raul. No, no. No, no, it'd be like this. So you got it. So you looking at one of these little kids? The kid kind of looked like me. No, Lorraine, the kid kind of looked like me. <laughs> well, fucking Andy Garcia is Raul's dad or some shit. Here's me, here's me, here's me. Andy Garcia pulling all of that Spanish out for this. Bro, actually, time out. What if they made Andy Garcia like he's a single dad to Raul or some shit like that? And he's working like a fucking factory job or some shit. I feel that was a subplot. I feel, I feel like that was, was a subplot. I feel like it was an executive trying to slam a dick in her mouth so bad in this movie. Like, yeah, but she got to lay with somebody. This was Michelle Pfeiffer. She's in her prime. She was cat women. You saw that non-existent ass she had in there. It was hey, look, amazing. Look, I don't know whether this is self-serving, but uh, her production company was behind this movie. So good for her. Yeah. I forgot Michelle Pfeiffer did have like a little small production company because it was I remember there was something about that you know and that was like you know of course like a woman having that at the time and all that shit oh you know? here's the cherry on top of Emilio based off a real kid who actually graduated high school joined the Marines and is still alive and well with three kids I want to know I want to know which executive was like Let's kill that motherfucker. <laughs> the kid joined the Marines, came out of the Marines, has a full fledged job, wife, and three ki- two so kids. Just and tell me. You killed him in the movie? No, wait, wait, wait. And that's, what, ending, that's, what, been, no, and that's what they heard. Wait, to have that's that they, type of no, wait a minute. So that's what he was, t- that's what the director was told uh, prior to shooting this shit. Upon hearing that, he goes, Yeah, we're going to kill him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is, our Gary B- that is our Gary Busey slash evil white person. <laughs> there, there is no happy ending. Note the flabby, all. pale, white skin here. Note, 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 <laughs> note the foreskin covering up all of the penis. That is your executive right there that said, we got to kill a Mexican. We got to kill a minority to really hit the boy, hit the uh, boy, trauma boy. home. Hold on. Oh, great wait, 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 <laughs> what do I do? I'm on the camera, sir. You fucking right, you are. I'm gonna need you to in the position. Well, nah. To be fair, to be fair to Brad, Brad was about to fuck up uh, Harvey. Har- Har- Brad Har- was in there at least so three times. Oh, See yeah. that dude pull out that that beady small <laughs> Jewish dick and go into town. All right. <laughs> I like how Brad Pitt is the epitome of the Our white guy that stood up. Yeah. I love how Brad right. Pitt is the epitome of the white guy that stood up no. once out of 4,000 no, 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 no. times no. going, no. no, no. <laughs> I love that. To it's Gwyneth, it's, but it's, not it's, his it's, wife, it's, Angeline. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, Boy, CJ, Angeline CJ. over there. Here's the difference. Here's the difference, though. The di- no, here's the, no, here's the difference. Harvey has the same breathing sounds as the regenerator. Bro. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's the sound of him masturbating. But <laughs> I digress. First off, first off, you need to get the fuck up out of here because if I play Resident Evil 4, that's all that's going to be in my head when that regenerated hits, sound hits. And it's already enough that that sound is creepy as fuck. That sound is the most, that is the most terrifying sound in that game. I don't care. Like, look, 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 look. I'm going to say this. Maybe it's not a black thing. No, hey, 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 Chris, hey, Chris, and hey, Chris, this is what Brad Pitt said to Angelina. Brad, you, do you want the fucking movie with Johnny or not. Let him finish. How you think I got Ocean's... <laughs> I think I got Ocean's 11. Be like this. George Clooney and I had to watch him jerk off too. Yeah. So <laughs> Julia Roberts watched. Julia was in the room with me. <laughs> so you're going to sit there and take it. You Look, filthy... Was... No, you, no. Like, so you're going to sit there and take it, you filthy... Big lipped beast. Only person that had the balls leave was fucking Matt Damon, and he's a pussy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Matt Damon can leave. Why can Matt leave? Eh, him and George are cool like that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You have to go imagine deep look, in that. Look, Eric Chris, imagine the pay George back picture. full stroke. Look, Benji, George, a full stroke. The oh, you can leave, Matt. I know you got to go. Those are the things. Nah, yeah, you can nah, 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 sir. Sir, you it's not the payback, payback picture. No, it's not the payback picture. It's, hey, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck wrote the shit out of Goodwill Hunting. All right. Oh, it's the oh, let him man. slide picture. <laughs> yeah, I love the slide on that one, man. He, he wrote the shit out of Good Will Hunting. I love that movie. It's great. It's the, it's the leeway picture. <laughs> Birdie Matt accidentally walked in the door. I see shit. I see shit. I see shit. I see shit. Don Cheadle, Don Cheadle leveraged that shit as fuck in order to get into the MCU. Like, you're going to have to plant something on Terrence Howard. I'm getting into the MCU, goddammit. Well, you know, I know what George did before. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> okay. So, Find what have we All right, your war machine. <laughs> so, guys, what have we learned this June? We time? have learned that apparently uh, you can recite poetry to get out of the hood. I learned that black kids, I'm sorry, Gen Xers are really into Bob Dylan and the cool words he had to say. I learned if you put on some lead dungarees and a leather jacket and some boots, kids respect you right there. I learned well, that you all you have to do, uh, especially when we teach them how to do a hip toss. <laughs> hey, hey Eris, I learned this, and this is something that it took me a while Plus to learn. Five on block. <laughs> well, hold have... on, hold on, hold on. Accessories: a candy bar. Plus five. Yeah. <laughs> Plus five and charisma. <laughs> The fucking candy bars. Goddamn candy bars. Let's be real. Bro. I'm tired of y'all. She made that shit work with 25 cent candy bars, bro. Not That's even the good ones. She gave him, oh, gave him the bullshit ones. Like, what, fucking Mr. Good Bar? What's the this fucking white? She had Zagnuts. 100 grand. 100 grand. Grand, grand. First off, I'm looking at each and every black kid that ate them things like you're the feds. No black kid eats you're fucking bad bars. Yeah. Fuck out of my face. You're the feds. Hold on. This kid, gentlemen, gentlemen, no, this is how you bro. know. Sir, this is how you know that this is a movie. She pulled out a butterfinger and only Raul went for it. Bro. Nobody was trying to answer a question to get the butterfinger. Hey, yo. Oh, 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 yeah. Remember that at the end of the movie? When oh, she the ops. Hey, God. Hey, y'all. Remember at the end of the movie when she started dancing with the kids? They were like, ah, 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 2023, she'd be doing the whipping Nene and shit. <laughs> she, she would really be doing the whipping Nene immediately. About a week ago, we could go. That'll be the ending theme for this. For this for <laughs> dangerous sucks, minds, twenty twenty three. So, so, this was this was very very. <laughs> Yo, great movie, man. You gotta look. You want, to, you want to know the opening weekend for this movie? Um, sure, go ahead. Tell me. Open number one. 
uh, behind it, A Walk in the Clouds, Keanu Reeves, little romantic comedy, romantic drama movie. Um, Waterworld, number three. Uh, something to talk about, the most whitest fucking movie in existence. At number four, uh, Babe, number five. The Net, number six. Apollo 13, number yeah. seven. Virtuosity, underrated fucking Denzel Washington movie, by the way, to me at least, was number eight. A Kid in King Arthur's Court, Disney movie, came in at number nine, opening weekend. That's crazy. CJ, CJ, mm -hmm. the look on Michelle's face when uh, hearing all them numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and rounding out number 10, Clueless. Ooh, wow, really? Yeah. What week? Hold on, what week? Fourth week. Okay, that makes sense. And uh, honorable mention, Operation Dumbo Drop. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We're not doing that. I just want to point out that no, Operation Dumb. I'm just gonna point out right here. Operation Dumbo Drop felt like a movie that every actor in the movie had to pay off something. Car note, house note. I don't know what it is. That is the most ragtag group. Ray Liotta and, and fucking Danny Glover in the same goddamn movie. In a Disney movie. In a Disney movie. <laughs> With Dougie Doug there, that is the most random shit ever. Like I remember this was, this. A, this was a tax write off, <laughs> and I and I loved how Disney. I Not for how, Disney, but for everybody. <laughs> I, no, no, no. Check it out. I love how Disney had drug like, money was funneled game. through that movie. <laughs> yes, they had to because I love how Disney had the fucking goal to advertise it and to try to push the Dumbo <laughs> name with it. I oh, love wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was a snapshot. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was a snapshot CJ, when Disney CJ, was I am mad at you. Money. CJ, I'm mad at you for saying it because I can clearly see Michael Eisner going, Sirs, I cannot wash any more of this money unless we put out five more <laughs> shitty movies. All right, uh, Jungle to Jungle. Uh, man, a house. <laughs> Operation <laughs> Jumbo <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> Is it too late to do another blank check? <laughs> blank check two. Get it. <laughs> oh man! Hey, somebody get John to Taylor Thomas in here now. We gotta wait, keep this not, rolling. We gotta keep this wait, train wait, going, wait, baby. Wait, 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 wait. We're not gonna get this. In. We're not gonna no, go. Wait, wait, we're not gonna get the same kid from the first blank check. We're gonna <laughs> oh, hey, 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 get those twin niggers in here. Get them in here. <laughs> get them in here now. Don't you got a little brother? Bring his cute ass in here. <laughs> we're gonna give him a black, black, a black best friend with Jason Weaver. <laughs> Where the fuck is Raven Simone at? <laughs> She's uh, on the Cosby show, the, sir. You got to talk to NBC, dog. You got to talk to Cosby. Got to talk to Cosby. Oh, right. Oh, right there. Well, no, 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 no. Right there. You said, I know. This is Eisner, too. You're like, you got to talk to Cosby. I knew this fucking day was going to come. <laughs> Imagine. Eisner come up with Bill Cosby. Rolled up sleeves like it's coming on, man. I've been waiting for this. Oh, somebody won't raise it. <laughs> Well, 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 you're going to have to take these quaaludes out my cold, dead hands. Oh, no, 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 no. You see me doing this? Like, wait a minute. What's he doing? Oh, you didn't know that I knew how to do the Muay Thai. See, hey, <laughs> tell you that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hey, 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 D. Hey, D, check this out. Hold on. Bunch of Bill Cosby. Wait, 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 wait. But before, <laughs> hold on. But before, but before we do this fight, how about a pre-fight drink? Eisner. Well, you know what, Bill? I got to tell you what. <laughs> Maybe we can Almost talk. Almost got me. No, no, no. Maybe we can actually talk business, Mr. Cosby. I'm all ears. <laughs> hey, hey, meanwhile, Harvey Weinstein. Damn. Almost got me. No, no, Almost no. No. Har no, Harvey Weinstein. Sit in the next one. <laughs> You know what? I hate the fact that three black geese have framed <laughs> Harvey Weinstein into this guy who's constantly jerking off. And he can't. He has a three-inch penis. D, wait, wait, wait. D, D, listen. If Paradise PD could get away with it with Joe Biden, why can't we? 
We're hard. All I'm saying is this. Paradise All I'm PD saying is, is this. not as funny as Three Black Kings. I gotta be honest with you, man. I ain't look, look. They're doing the, oh, look, they look. Doing the Joe Biden masturbating thing has, oh, and made God. it a thing through, across three seasons. I don't want to put. I, I don't want to put this on him, but I feel mm. if he could, and he was just in zero fucks given mode, I feel Kevin Smith has a Harvey Weinstein jerked off in front of his story. I think he had. I think he doesn't have one. I do think he has a. You know, it smells like a dick in here. <laughs> but he didn't say anything. It's like, eh, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? Are here's here's a on, script look, for look, Superman. Guys, look, here's look, here's guys, a script, here's hey, script for shout Superman. Shout out to all the men. Shout out to all the men who goes into their friends' rooms that you can tell that he probably jerked off. <laughs> shout out to us going. Been there. So shout out to other men. All I'm saying. So yeah. Kevin Smith definitely went on there a humid day in the mirror in the in the dimensions Miramax offices. Yeah. Anyway, pretty sure that's how Harvey was like. All right, Kevin, I'll give you the money for clerks too. Fine, All right, Kevin. I got a question. Is your wife going to show her tits in this one? No. Ah! no. Okay. <laughs> it's ten million. Go. It's 10 million. Don't spit it all at once, you fucking stoner. Nah. Kevin, Kevin Smith walks in. No, no, look, you fucking Kevin stoner. Smith, no, Kevin Smith. <laughs> D, D, Kevin Smith walks in, beard. Like his beard goes, huh. Smells like crusted dick in here. That's Scott Mosier that says that shit. Smells <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Harvey, this is fucking. This is fucking Jay right here. Here's Jay. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man, you been fucking jerking off in here, man? <laughs> like in here. One time I went to my bro's house. It smells like fucking cock. I was like, oh, dude, no. was you jerking off? Of course he was jerking off. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, are you high again? No. no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold Fuck on. Hold on. No, I've been trying to get high. Wait, I gotta keep it. No, I gotta keep. Wait, I gotta keep it current to that time. I gotta keep it. With, I gotta no. keep it around that time. He said, "Ask Jay that question again." Jay, are you Jay, fucking high? Like what? No, I'm not fucking high. What the fuck makes you think, bro? With his narcoleptic ass. <laughs> Shouts to him still being sober to this day. I, yes, that, that is that is insane. But the time period that was on the level of that was that was on the level of Samoa Joe walking to the ring, and when Jeff Hardy tried to say something, hey Jeff, I suggest you think this is take this like AA and wait until it's your turn, to man. Talk. Yo, oh, I want people no. to know Samoa Joe got so much heat for that shit, and he and immediately. I'm broke his fucking knee. I hate how WWE has a curse when somebody has pure fire. (laughs) (laughs) But nah, man, Dangerous Minds, it's it's weird how (laughs) to this day Much like Little Eris, I'm sorry, Eris, much like Harvey Weinstein, we pulled it out of the end on this one. I guess (laughs) I just want to point out, like, it, it's, it, is, it is insane to me that, like, we indeed talked about this, Sue, when you left. This movie was getting roasted by the critics, and it oh, made no a hundred, but made, but no, made a hundred and eighty million dollars. This movie cannot get away with this bullshit today. No, and bear in mind, there, but today. bear in mind, there are white savior movies that try it, but we're smart enough now to be like, Fuck you, movie. We're not doing this shit. Wait, no. probably breaks, probably breaks, CJ. First of all, white savior movies to this day that exist are either on Hallmark or Pluto. And Nobody was, watches I, those shits, and they don't exactly. Them. That is my but, point. But that's I'm talking know. about major. I'm talking about major. Well, like, going the to theaters. Eric, Chris, Chris, hey, Chris, man, broken Chris. clock is, tw- is like is right twice a day. Hey, Chris, and here's the thing. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have uh, one you know, slips through the crack, and yeah, Eris is right. Yeah, because, you're right. Because white people have this thing every six or seven years, and we've seen it enough times where white people do this thing of racism is over, oh. and they and and then they make shit Dude. like racism ended. Just to add the cherry on this, like, like they like, do this um, at the, no, but no, but they do it at the worst times because when they do it, they do it after some black person got killed two weeks ago. Always do it. 
The second I, one of us I, get murdered, it's a CIA wait, plot, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Is. 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 No, 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 no. I think no, no. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's as a, as much of a of a conspiracy. I think it's a lot more stupider. See, <laughs> why? See, I believe that they check for racism being over like it's Groundhog's Day. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. If their black friend can come to this neighborhood and not be stopped by a cop. <laughs> no, no, it's more like if they're no, black. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. If a no, random walks no. into the neighborhood, no, <laughs> no. If a, if a black guy, not even looking suspicious, is able to walk into a neighborhood and not get shot in the kneecap and then in the freaking shoulder, uh, just to avoid, <laughs> just to avoid, oh, uh, like attempted murder, then yeah, racism's over. Uh, my dude Harris, was right Harris, on this one. Actually, my Harris, dude was right on this one. Shooting. T- you're shooting too high. You shoot. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 True, yeah. True, true. yeah. That, that, that last part. That last part. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Lamar, thank you. So, I, I like I said, man, it's 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 stupid how these these movies really have not like I said it's. It's a white savior. It's like, yeah, these are kind of white savior movies. These are white savior movies. There's no way you can get it. Because the only thing missing, because like I said, it's just, it, it's it's like when you watch this movie, you just sit back and look. I collect a lot of movies. I got this on DVD just for posterity's sake. Just just to, just to remind kids. And like this kids, is the nigga that told me, I don't want to do it, D. Michelle Pfeiffer. Blah, 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 blah. Stop, 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 I'm so woke. I'm no, helping the no. children out. No, no, no. Stop yes. everything. Stop everything. I think the, the, the... And thank God they didn't film it. The real white savior moment in this movie would have been if we actually seen them graduate. Bro, if we see them walk across that stage <clears throat> and then, oh, ooh, you ooh, see ooh. That wait, 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 right wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. One more thing. Well, yes, we're going to see that face again as well. Right. But then the, then here's the cherry on top. Each key student that had uh, more than five lines in the movie. Right. They get that. Uh, that <laughs> They get that lighted up ending where we see where they where we see what happens to them in three years time. Dog. With they play- eight, seven. And Tevin, with that song playing in the background. As long as you keep your head to the sky. Hey, that's a catchy ass song. I ain't gonna lie. It is a catchy you can song. Be, you can be. Hey, to be honest with you, Emilio, Emilio's body was taken up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Courtney B. Vance would go on to better movies and end up. It end up skeeting the living hell out of motherfucking Angela Pants. Talk about, talk about for a second. I love how these movies, these inspirational Ooh. movies. I love how we as no, no. I love how we as black folks, we can make TikTok jokes about it. And I'm hopeful. Yes, I am. They do the freeze frame and all that shit. It's fucking hilarious because it's so tropey at this point. It's like, bro, come on, man. Y'all not even trying at this point. Okay. This Which is probably why. Which is why high school high hit so much because when they did the graduation, only four of the motherfuckers graduated. Oh, that was hilarious. That that was probably the most realistic part of that whole movie. (laughs) Because they're all like, oh, graduation, four. I, I mean, like how be, they named. Let's be real. Let's and I like how two like, people they named no, let's didn't be really, have no lines like, in the movie. No, but, I love no, but let's be let's be really real here. Your, your substitute teacher is John Lovitz. Are you really gonna learn anything? Oh my god! As a god. troubled youth in this movie. Because here's the thing: I could pick out four of the characters in this movie that probably would have graduated. Everybody else. Hey, sorry, kid. Yeah. No child. Well, that black, well, you know. that one black kid who looked like uh, Wood Harris's uh, older brother. <laughs> Give me my damn candy bar. Yeah, that nigga. Uh, the one black girl, the the loud black girl, and yeah, 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 and I think Raul would have passed. Well, to be fair, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. The uh, the don't forget the uh, the fifth striker character. Uh, the (laughs) the fat black kid that looked like Ness from Making the Band. Oh, the one that came up to her and was like, "You better better be for real. You better be for real." First off, I'm like, "Hey, my man, you're scaring the white lady right now, sir, sir." It's, that's an idle threat in a little bit, you know. You are a black man from Watts. I think you need to stop. <laughs> easy, easy on the threats. I know that's hey, not a threat. Hey, but hey, a threat. hey, <laughs> hey, Tupac, calm down. 
one pack, sir. It ain't two pack. One, one pack. pack. <laughs> one pack. No, no, no. Value because, pack over no, here. No, no, no. Because. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow, shit, that hurt that time. Ow, fuck, ow. <laughs> ow, ow, god damn it. I was waiting for that to hurt me. Okay, so Eris. Extra, extra value pack. So Eris. Um, action or... Con- Hold um, on. Eris, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what are you going to add to this, man? What else are you going to add to this? <laughs> so you look dirty. Um, <laughs> so Eris. Er- Eris, comedy or action? Where should we go? Comedy or action? Let's go comedy. All right, Chris. One, two, or three. Trace. Three. Oh, finally, we could do a black movie, and a movie that we've been doing meant to do for a long time, and we're finally going to do. Boomerang. Finally, this is the third. This is the third time we have gone to it, and we're definitely doing it this time. Funny enough. Because it just if, always happens that either we plan for it and we don't get to it, or we have to cancel. So it's no, dis, it's no disrespect. It's, it's no disrespect to its great value brethren, uh, strictly business. But uh, boomerang. Uh, uh, is uh, the one. We, we, we reviewed that too. Oh, no, which we reviewed. I loved it. But if you've seen strictly business and you watch boomerang, it's a start difference between oh, the man, dude, yeah, there's the flavor, money. the vibe, there's and everything. Money. So, there's money. Oh, there's money. Work, work, word of warning. <laughs> Don't watch those movies back to back. Oh, I mean, look, is it nice to see well-to-do black people in a movie? Yes. I, I, will, I, I will wholeheartedly yeah. admit that. It, it's nice to see that. It, it, it definitely is. I like that with Strictly Business, it's one angle of it, but then Boomerang went full tilt into the corporate black corporate angle of it yeah and it was yeah. great and you want the, and, sun- and on that you want note, the sunday Eric, you want you want the sunday uh tnt triple threat special strictly business boomerang love jones ah <laughs> yeah that's, that's but, uh, right think there. about uh, it think about it they're safe black movies nobody gets killed in these movies <laughs> Your next door neighbor Bob says, "Did you see uh, Love Jones last night, there, Chris? I, I love that. I, love I that. never Lance seen that. Movie. Never seen that I movie. Love, I, I love when white people come to us and tell us that they never seen a black movie before. Like, no, no. When they come to white no, people are pleased by that. I never no, first, no, 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 no. I get double mad because they come to me with the like they come to me with the like with the gall to say, oh, I watched the double feature. I saw Love Jones and Brown Sugar back to back, and they meanwhile." Were amazing. Meanwhile, amazing pieces of film. Meanwhile, the white guys that we met when we started podcasting, John and Mo, they're like, "Oh man, I love that movie. It blasts a black movie. I love it. It's, it's like it's genuine. It's like, all right, yeah, they, 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 there's no sugar code. They just love it, and that, boom, that's it. Done. No, no, I agree. Love Jones is problematic, but again, it goes back to my point. Nobody no, 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 gets no. killed in these. No, it's problematic no, no. because both characters are dickheads to each other. Yeah, they're right? they no, both no, make no. shit. Look, look, it ain't a look, look. Let's drop that problematic man because not, I was going to say not because Smith and Wesson shows up. So check this out, Eris. I was going to say this. I was going to say this about Boomerang, and we can get into it more when we get into it next week. But um, not even the unsheathing of a barrage. I really but, hate. I really not even a backhand. Not even a backhand. Go ahead, D. Go ahead, D. All right, we're done. No, go ahead. <laughs> I don't care. We're done. <laughs> See you next week for more rain, folks. Happy June team.